final time. Yes, it is final time. Hello. Oh, what are we doing? Why am I here? Oh, why am I in this area? Oh, look at that. We got some kind of demon anvil. Nice. Demon anvil. Got a... That's more than an armory. That's a full-blown castle now. Basically, kind of. Maybe. Not quite. Got some... Some bridge. Sunken... Wait, did, did they just hover over it and turn on the fucking lamp? There you go. So, so someone is in that sunken tower. Not the Tower of Time. That's back here. And they keep toggling the switch. The light switch. What an asshole. Oh well. What am I doing? Maybe we just started the shattered floor. She's levitating above the bottom and parts of it collapsed. Is there anything I want here? No? I guess I just saved in the the city, quote unquote city. Uh everybody on levels that are acceptable yes he's sitting on 18 skill points uh, I guess we're waiting for level 11 and 12 but I mean she will get skill points so completely pointless <laughs> I guess if the sun, uh, the lightning rod were uh, stun preset worked as intended I would be leveling this up and all the way here. But even the 0.2 second one is a lot longer than 0.2, it's like a second, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think this works as intended. Let's make it a little stronger. Actually, no, fuck that. I did make it a li little stronger at some point, but... I mean, that damage doesn't matter. I mean, it almost doubles the damage. 30 damage per hit! Ooh, let's go! It doesn't matter. It's a spam stun. Although I don't like it as much as the runes. Oh, and I could have Rockham with the Firestorm. Although Firestorm doesn't have any daze or stun or root or blind or anything. And his fireball does have the daze, but I mean Kayla's void ball has the daze. I mean, well, it depends on what enemy, what these enemies are going to be on this floor, right? Because if they are more resistant to uh, air than fire, then I'm swapping to Rakem. It's that simple. Whoa. Okay, so there's nothing there. All the things are this way. We'll see where we go. As people don't know how to knock again. Do they have guns? Are these guns or lenses? Lenses. These are all tin heads, really. Just a crap ton of tin heads. Fire resistance and water resistance. Alright. They are proportion. Ah! They can... They can jump. Oh yeah, these are the jumper boys. Enraged tin heads swarm your party. Your frontline warriors can handle them in twos. But your fragile champions will get shredded within seconds. No, they won't. They can CC the yellow living tin out of these cans. I mean, heads. Wait, so their heads are tin. What's the rest of them? The game just froze. The game just died. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I think that's the second crash of this game ever throughout my play playthrough. But I mean, you know, would have been nice if it didn't happen. I really hope it's not going to be one of those floors, like that uh, one floor. I think the service maintenance floor or whatever the hell it was that had the uh, shit loading times and the flickering. But it looks like it's fine. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. Hello, are those guns or are those spears? What are you? Ah, oh, the spears. Ah, oh, these are teen heads. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. 
Okay, so far so good. Hey, we are alive. Uh -huh. Oh, we are. We like this, huh? I mean, that's gonna be fine. I just need the. Uh... Did he get slower again? Is he back to 1.0? Dude, just, just walk here. You don't need to do anything else. He needs to walk here. And you two also walk there. Put this down, and then keep okay. walking. They're just gonna run. Shoot them. That's what they do. Unless they get immobilized. Paint! Paint the world! Oh my god, this guy is... This guy is going to do a lot of damage. Very safe. Oh, he's still here, actually. Never mind. He's not even the one. That's the tree. Alright, girls, yes. are you running or are you just sitting around like dumb fucks? On my way. Coming. And yeah, alright, I'll go. Just keep running. Copy it's fine. That. You're fine. On it. Your wish is my command. Can I help you? Stop being immobilized. You're fine. You know what? You can just and put your things yeah, down all right, to I'll make go. you be able yes. to remain. She made it. She made it! Alright. <clears throat> yes. Yes. On it. Could have also caged something, like, ha, ah, fuck sure you. Will. Right. Just run back here. Copy She's already out of energy, so, or mana. Will do. So I'm going to take away the, uh, the extra 10 mana cost from that thing. Heck, yeah, she's back down to garbage mana. Uh, Economy it sucks. But what are you doing in the behind lines? You derpy fuck. See how the big robot is. See how he dances. Yeah, he got killed because. Okay, so there are a bunch of things with barely any health. I guess it was not smart enough to kill things it was just i don't know yeah <laughs> weird put a cage here so they have to walk around it for funsies i feel like this is what i'm going to do from now on with every every fight just put people into the place where there is one or at most two uh entrances from enemies and then just set because Eric's, Eric's summons can just deal with everything. Look, we can just spit some water there. Yes. Heal them a little bit. Put more things there. She can draw. <laughs> it's fucking useless. But hey, it's fun. She can also move closer. Hello? Move co oh, we won. And another shield, and it's actually good. What oh the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, no. Remember when I crafted like 20 shields and then reloaded because all were garbage? And I immediately got something that's better and the game just crashed. Again, as my cat is tearing up some cardboard in the background. Yes. Dude. And it's gone. It's dead. Oh, ah, there we go. Yep. Oops! Oops, the game crashed! Crash report a folder named the current date next to game executable. It would be great if you'd send it to the devs. Fuck the devs. This game is like six years old and they are working on a new game. I'm not gonna fucking send them a thing. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do the fight again. So that's gonna be fun. It's not even starting, you know? There we go. Jesus. I. Oh my fucking god. Oh. No more interruptions, only game crashes. Please. We have to do the fight again. Fun. I read on the Steam forums that some people had problems with constant crashing on a certain floor. I hope this is not that floor. <laughs> 
All right, just do it. The light guide your we can start path. the battle. Speed it up. I don't even care. Go out here. Your wish Over there. Is my command. Summon shit on this side. Here. Don't die. Can I help you? Shoot them. Sure will. You know what we could do? At your could have him stand here, right? Could have him stand back here. Because this way he can summon on this side and he can summon on that side. And he can rain on Africa and put down a totem. Look, he's a he's a goddamn summon yeah, uh, support. Yeah. He's the support of the century. Oh, there's this pipe. She needs line of sight with this thing, huh? Boink. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Yeah, all right, I'll go. <laughs> right between the eyes. She can just do whatever, I guess. Whee! Look at that rain. It's actually not that bad. Yes. Everybody my moves way. up. Just a little bit. Money now it moves up a little bit. Put some garbage yes, around. Yes, murder. Uma de la. I never miss. Let's play the guessing game of how many times do I have to do this mission again? Will do. Copy that. All right. On my way. Coming. Sure will. Now we won. There were a hundred enemies. Wow. We got an axe this time. Don't you fucking dare crash. You're saving. You're saving! Ugh! Meshing F5. <laughs> there we go. Hey, we survived. Alright. One-handed ox, eh? Tier 3. Not a lot of damage, but it's faster. And it has some penetration, some critical chance, some... Yep. Somebody wants stole me. <laughs> Alright. Expedition Note 1. One of your party members catches sight of a backpack on the floor. Maya scoops it up, searches every crevice in the span of two breaths. All she comes up with are two four torn pieces of paper. When both halves are placed next to each other, they read. You find that he managed to capture one of the power sources from the construct just before it was destroyed. So strange that power sources actually leave the units once they are disabled. I wonder where they go and why. Oh, the Deva stuff, yeah, yeah. Those are questions for another time, but today is a day to celebrate. <laughs> Construct power sources are compatible with the technomancy equipment we have among us. The power just to pow the power just one of these units provides is nearly unbelievable. And for more, and all our power worries will be over. So, they capture. They intended to capture the little spirits that come out of the Deva power suits. To power their own machinery. I see nothing wrong with this. Let me return. I must personally thank Mega Sleeth. No, he's alive. None of this. Of course, actually, of course, he's alive. He's he opened the portal that let the Deva through. Oh shit! None of this would have been possible without his direction. Oh no, he's alive. What a twist! Titan Great Home. It's probably gonna have negative movement speed on it. Yes, but less negative one speed. Good. So what do we have here? Less armor. Okay. Some resistances. Wow, 1%. Hmm. <laughs> On the final floor, 1% resistances. Some health. A little less movement speed. No penetration. Because it doesn't have spectral sight, but that's just a plus. I mean, Kane doesn't really need it. 31% skill power increase. He also doesn't need that, but it's not bad. A 1% crit, wow. It has Magi Bastion 2. Increases skill damage by 30%, I see. So otherwise it would have been 1%. <laughs> it's the helmet of 1%. How much armor can I put on it? 2. So it's 14 armor. That is garbage. What can else, what else can I put on it? Some resistances. And other trash. 
Alright, so we have 14 instead of 16, but we have the percentage, so it's gonna be less than... Ah, uh, eh? well, actually, it's just 2. So the 12% didn't really get affected, huh? 2 less armor. 4 resistances by 1%. More movement speed. <gasps> He's up to 2.5. Honestly, that's going to be a deciding factor. He has more health, which is also good. Penetrations, he loses, but I don't mind that. Skill power, so his healing. What's his healing? Also, this thing did, does some damage. 246 and 134 for the party. Oh, it's not bad. He can almost... He can basically do one-fourth of his life. With that healing. Yeah, cool. He's gonna wear that Titan Great Helm. To be honest, it's mainly for the movement speed increase. Rakem can inherit this thing. It's a little better, a little worse. But Rakem needs armor penetration more. Although it's percentage armor penetration, not flat. Yeah, it's 20%, but he gets 20% magic, which is nice. And some crit. Oh! Okay, so that's not flat 20% magic penetration, it's... It multiplies the current values, okay, so that's, <laughs> that's garbage, but still. You know, he's... He's cool, back to 58% crit chance, nice, nice. 50 armor penetration is actually not bad. Not bad at all. That's a good helmet right there. Let's keep saving because I don't know if the game is going to crash again. Enchant, change 3. 70% slow for 10 seconds and 12% chance to daze enemies. Or ranged weapons. Honestly, I would rather keep the... Uh, these force things on ranged weapons. Sadly, I still only have force 1 unlocked. Wait, that's elemental empowerment. What's force 1? Total weapon damage by 20%. So, force is elemental empowerment. Uh, I just noticed that. It's not even called what it's called, supposed to be called. But yeah. This could be nice. Because now we have the chains. Oh, it always had the day's chains. 70%. So this is a guaranteed 70% slow? Or is it chance for 70 is it a 70% chance for an X amount of slow? I still don't know, but it's probably guaranteed like these splash mounting guys. But since we have them, we don't need the chains on. Honestly, this damage that is recovered as Mono might go on one of Kayla's guns. She does a lot of damage. And the other could have elemental shatter. Ooh. Ooh. Got our first portal. Very nice. Got a map. Not a lot on this map. Um, where does this lead? Titan gauntlets. Okay, so we get we get the entire Titan set on this floor, I'm guessing. So Kane is going to be happy. A happy man. So we get gauntlets with uh, negative resistances. Why would I even use that? So far, it's worse in... It's equal or worse in everything. Less movement speed, less cooldown. I mean, the cooldown is not bad, but he doesn't need that. And it has Magi Gloves. Oh, that's why it has... Th this is absolute fucking garbage. And as far as I know, there are no set bonuses. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Trash. Ah! Water Purification Department. Titan Sabatons! Alright, let's... Oh, I guess we have to do a little talky part. This looks so different than I remember, though I admittedly, I don't remember much. <laughs> Long... It's a portal. I can see what's on the other side. That's actually pretty cool. Although it's probably not RTX, you know, it's not real-time. Uh, see what's on the other side. It's, you know, just whatever. That doesn't matter. It's cool. Looks like there was some sort of explosion here. No, Kane, these are carefully arranged in a way as to portray an explosion, but no explosion actually happened. If there were was an explosion, these wooden beams or planks 
would be singed or otherwise you know burned or dented or fragmented but they're not so you're wrong here because it was actually just carefully arranged in a way as to trick stupid fox like you yes more than one lady on explosion couldn't take out all these bridges what bridges Nash Bridges? Haha, <laughs> that's a throwback. Alright. Does this mean we have to go back? We can't. Not necessarily lowborn. All the bridges are physical in nature. Let's look there. Not all bridges. I mean, we went through the uh, Bridge of Sparkles. Like, one or two floors back. And it's one of my favorite parts in this game. Because it's trippy. But it looks toward the edge of the island, where a solid black crack hovers in midair. Uh, okay. Surrounded by thick pulsating white energy, uh, the hole seems to draw in all the nearby air. When Whisper moves closer to his back, the black vapors spilling from her hand rush towards the crack where they disappear. She's getting sucked in. Ah, oh, fuck, it's a fucking vacuum <laughs> A vacuum cleaner is hoovering her ash up, or whatever she's made out of. She moves her hand behind the crack, her vapors are unaffected. Rod, oh, I sense the magical essence here. I know of no technology that can create this effect. Regardless, it is indeed a gateway. The only question is, do we have the courage to travel through it? It's the only way. Unless this leads somewhere, but probably doesn't. Oh, I am so afraid! I cannot... It literally leads nowhere. There's some kind of pipe there and that's it. It might lead us down there. However, I feel like it's gonna lead to something similar like this. But someone hid the first pile of gold behind the portal. 72. Ah, oh, that's the best number. But. Oh, it's not the highest number in this gold pile. So we can go 73. We can go, okay. I feel like 73 is going to be the top. The 65 seems pretty low. Yep. All right. Let's get the 72 at least. And then we're going to be okay. So 72, 73. 3 is going to be our target. Then again, hello? Oh, I thought it crashed. I mean, it's kind of crashing. Then again, we have money and we don't have blueprints and there is... There are two blueprints here, so actually we'll need that money. Okay, 73. That's probably the top. 6700! Ooh! Titan Bootsies. What do the Bootsies have? Titan Spirit increases health and mono by 15%. Okay, that's that's the uh, ring. Actually, no, that's uh, that's amulet. Amulet in Chen. Less armor, less resistances, more health, a little more movement speed. Mm, he could be on 3.0. He could actually have some meaningful speed. It would be, I think, as fast as a 3 end. 15%. Oh, yeah, health and mono. Okay. What can I forge on this? Because I'm definitely forging armor on it. Yes. So we would lose 7% resistances. That's fine because we have a crap ton of auras. Although we would also lose 6%. We'd lose 13% resistance on him. I mean, air wouldn't be affected much. Things don't really do water here. There's the Steam Golem or Steam Mage or whatever that does water damage, but nobody else. They do like air and physical. His health would be nice. His mana is nice as well, but he doesn't need 200 mana. That movement speed though, I like. What about the dwarf. Dwarf, do you need this? A dwarf doesn't have a lot of armor. Same health, a lot less movement speed. Ew. Dwarf would become slow. Dwarf would be on 1000 plus. However, dwarf could have three extra levels, and Cain could have three extra levels as well, so that would put their health up. It's not that bad, but it's not good enough. But the helmet was okay so far. Whee! Kane walks before the hovering spot of fractured space. His hair rises up on his head, rushing towards the black portal of the, to the unknown. That looks blue to me, but okay. I might be colorblind. 
After securing his gear to his body, the shield guard looks back over his shoulder. I'm going through. If it's a trap, then let it spring on me alone. If it is safe, I will send a signal. What the signal will be, I don't know yet. Shilgard glances to Maeve, who opens her mouth to say something, but hesitates. In a slight pause, Kane turns and steps through the blackness. He vanishes as if slipping behind a fabric curtain. Well, now we are the seven. One more down and we can be the six again, which Whisper wants. So, you know, hey, goodbye Kane, and I guess Rakim is back in the party, hey? <laughs> oh no, wait! It pulled us through, because he has the torch, of course, I forgot. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Pretty. I don't believe my eyes. Any Artara, are we? Clearly, we are not in Artara anymore. We are somewhere else. But don't worry, there is Earth like gravity, or Artara like gravity, and there is also oxygen to breathe. Haha, <laughs> not that I need either of them, says Whisper, the bitch. <clears throat> but does it really matter, Lassie? As long as it's light on the wood stays solid enough. Whoa! Hey, look! And the other side is orange! Ha! Huh. Now you're thinking with portals. Literally. That's a nice little floor! Such strange engineering. The floor looks like dark stone, but feels more like snow underfoot. Aww. Floor. Crack in time, space! Where? So we can go back and forth, so it's fine. It's the ruined Deva homeworld. Whoa, or maybe the the uh, Organthe. This is where the Organthe committed the mass suicide to open the, the cracks. Ooh, what the hell? That thing is like moving. Teleport, teleport, a bunch of teleports. Titan shield. Mm. It's probably gonna be part of the uh, the Titan set. Okay, so this crystal is not a crystal, but this one is. As if translucent crystals grow right before your champion's eyes. So let's hurry before it grow overgrows the, the passage. Huh? As of semi-translucent or semi-translucent, doesn't matter. Condit swirling with energy rises up from below the platform. Your champions look on in awe, offering wild speculations as to the nature of such alien engineering. Perhaps an ethereal vegetation? Like branches moving, growing on the side of a ship? Question mark. Ah, more likely structural piping to transfer power waste. Yes. Or maybe it's Cthulhu himself. Perhaps they are tentacles of a vast space creature. Yes, Boron, now you're talking. Which comes out to feed on unsuspecting travelers. The champions move away from the oddity and quickly turn to their quest. I would jump on it and just ride it all the way down, see where it lands. Uh, it probably just flings me into the space. Definitely. Definitely not good. Yes, the pulsate. Mm. Oh, we got a puzzle on our hands. Braziers. And a chest that looks locked. Is that our first locked chest? What the hell? Absolutely astonishing. What absolute power the creators of this place must wield. Huh. <clears throat> the, sec <laughs> the secrets they must learn. Watching through such lofty... Such lofty a window. Uh, what? This does not feel right to me. We, we should not be here. We must stay to step and find another way. Came back up toward the portal. His eyes darting from side to side in frantic tempo. Ambush. Okay, what's wrong? We do not belong here. We need to get out of here while we get still can. Little did the champions know, this is the inside of the Tower of Atar. And Kane knows because he got intimate with her at some point. And this is exactly what he saw inside her. Oh god, he's just poofed at the same time. What the fuck? Leave! We just got here. How could you possibly pass up the opportunity to leave the place like this? I could spend the rest of my days here. You might. As if this place were truly home. We can't leave now, my lord is counting on us. We have pledged our honor and loyalty to turn back now would disagree our names. Oh shit. Excuse me. 
I'm sick and tired of this crazy tower. I want to be done with it. We'll get the machines and metals of old. <laughs> oh my, look there, near the tower. That's a tiny man, such a tiny man. Hello, little tiny man. Okay, Eric is already fucking high off these fumes. I got tired of these cat and mouse games. In a, if an enemy lies in wait here, let them show their face. What? What's going on with all of you? You all got high from the braziers. <laughs> As the engineer of old queries or new friends, you feel a strange tingling throughout your body. You're suddenly overwhelmed with feelings of anger, fear, passion, admiration, joy, and more. Oh. Is this where all the negative alignment people just turn against the positive alignment people? They hit you in veins, one after another, with no logical explanation. It is during these strong emotions you feel the thoughts and senses of your champions slip from you. You can still sense them, but they are eye broken, disjointed, no longer complete and conscient. consistent. Well, first still, the thoughts and emotions seem totally out of character. It is an unnerving feeling, and the more you try to regain your connection, the less effective it seems to be. As you struggle to get your bearings, a horrifying thought crosses your mind. Is it possible losing control of your champions now will serve your, sever your connection with them permanently? Oh no, that would be the end of the game. Can you afford to take such a risk? Perhaps if you focus all your strength, you can imp impose your will on the party and purge them of this unstable influence. Or perhaps the only way to regain complete control is to distance yourself from the party completely and let the situation run its course. Did I say? What will you do? Let them. Let them be. Oh! Minus armor, minus attack speed, and minus elemental thingy, but we don't use that. Oh, yeah, and Eric, we get modern regeneration and uh, movement speed. Whoa, yay! <laughs> we also get spell power and, and, and whatever that is. Health, but I figured out that outside of combat, these don't matter, so these two literally don't matter. Literally. And they were high enough. It's Rakam who's, who's the... Uh, the sourest of pussies. Uh, that doesn't sound well. Actually, it, he's a sourpuss. That done. After a moment of reflection, you realize it is not your place to change the way of your champions. Think right. Just because a moment is unexpected. Are the thoughts and feelings are not in character? Who are you to say? King's instinct to fall back is wrong, or Maeve's sudden push onward for honor and glory should be stripped from her. So wait, both Maeve and Kane got negative. And Rakem got negative as well. So Kane and Rakem wanted to turn back, but Mai wanted to push forward. I let them decide on their own. Well, I distanced, my, distanced myself, so... Are they going to just stay here? Because both the people who wanted to go back are negative. The person who wanted to go forth is negative. The people who wanted to stay, which is Whisper. I want to stay here and learn. And Boron, who's like, show yourself, enemy! You know? I guess we're staying here, figuring out this puzzle, I guess. Oh. Well, I guess this is the end of the game. Something in the back of your mind tells you this is the test of their convictions. If your champions can weather this emotional storm, they'll be twice as strong and twice as committed. You loosen your focus and let your champions find their own way. What's wrong with yourself, Metal Arm? Huh? Elf in a tree, elf in the sky. An acorn forest, a butterfly flies! <laughs> Stop it. What we have to say... What? What need have we to save Artara? If we can live in this place above and beyond. Well, she already forgot. She just wants this place. I mean, it's it's nice, I guess. But what you gonna eat? Though it's just a shadow. Quickly, everyone, back to the tower. Why we still can... Stop it. There's no honor in retreat, Kay. There's only honor in glorious death. Wait, that's coming from her? That's not what she would say. Eh? She didn't care about glorious death. She only cares about loot. And what about WD40? What is what is Mac going to say about this? I'll crush their head, crush their heads, stomp their bones, tear them limb from limb. Screaming while covering her ears. I'm not gonna scream. Stop it. The engineer's voice echoes around the party, as if called out in an endless hall of metal. After many moments, the girl removes her hands from her ears and looks to her companions, all of whom lie on the floor. 
Damn, she full sword out everybody. I mean, she's lying here, standing here, so she just went rush. Kayla immediately rushes to the side, relieved to find them alive, merely unconscious. One by one, they come to, expressing vague recollections of their thoughts just moments ago. But each champion speaks and acts as the engineer has come to expect. There are places in the world where even giants dare not tread, so just we move on with haste. Aye, lady, I second that. Ah, my heart. We are lost. Oh no, we are lost. That's okay, guys. There is chest here. It looks kind of burned. Oh, it didn't open, but it opened. Ooh, ooh. money. Yeah, it didn't really open. Let's see. Are these boots good? Better armor, better is wow! Look at that. And that is some kind of Titan's, uh, yeah, Titan's boots. So much better. Well, point four less movement speed, but we got some movement speed from this. I've got more movement speed, or well, less negative than the previous helmet. Is he wearing the previous? Oh, yeah. Oh, he had like six point eight movement speed before. Nice. All right, so good, good, good. Not good, and the critical chance is the same. And I can put the resistance hour back on this. Perfecto. Still on resistance hour one on this as well, so there's a lot more to pick up. Hmm. Cool. So he's he's got that. Oh no. I don't know which one is which. It's this one. I think, yeah. And I can put more armor on it. <laughs> or movement speed. Yeah, I could, but... It's armor all the way, baby! 17 armor, look at that, nice. And Rakem gets this one, because it's better armor. It gets the resistance aura, so the resistances are okay. Less health, and a lot less movement speed, but... Eh. It's not that it matters. It's fine. Alright, what are these things? Unrecognizable fuel in the Deva Brazier creates a luminescent mist. So this is the Deva place, okay. Diva. Whoa. Oh, look at this beam. It's got some nice outlines. Ooh. Look at look beyond, there's a nebula. And there's distant stars and not so distant stars. Wow. In space? Oh, look at that. Fucking Protoss. Fucking Zealots and uh, those. I don't know what the other the spellcasters are. Templars? I don't know. Optus and Protoss constructs send before the party. No light emanate from their armor and their heads are lowered against their chests. That don't seem like it. Abandoned? In space! Or a trap? In space! Cautiously, Maev stays... Cautiously, Maev, stay out there. Stay at the rear. In space. <laughs> she beats the negative of everything. Even in space! So we are not in the Tower of Time anymore. In space? Defying all logic, the platform appears to float in deep space itself. Boran's comments summarize the feelings of the entire party well. Feelings of... wait. Boran's comments summarize the feelings of entire party well. That sentence don't make sense. Bear witness to the edge of infinity! And beyond! <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no hold over myself. My actions are not my own. In space! <laughs> As the champions approach, bright red light, red light erupts from the eyes of the Deva Constructs. They raise their arms, summoning forth weapons of pure energy and attack. You were saying? Oh my god, quick! Quick, get ready! They're co oh, I can't change my party. Corrupted Vists, we know them and we kill them easy. The Exo Mac Blade with the Stun Wave, we know these as well. Corrupted by Tower Avatar. How do we know that? How do we know these things? The One Energy Swords. Yeah, we've seen these guys. The Anti-Armor we've seen. 
long range extreme penetration beam or physical and this thing which is kind of stupid oh wait this is not the stupid one this is not the one second this is the during the channel but we got new things exo heavy exo heavy exoskeleton corrupted by Taurathar. it has a powerful melee attack and can create an a uh, disruptive aura around him increasing elemental resistance of all champions within the range Aura of weakness elemental weakness Within 4 meters, reduced by 30%. Ah, rubbish. 84 armor, though. Holy crap. Not a lot of health. Decent damage. With a lot of pe uh, penetration. So this this guy can single-handedly mess up 3 out of 4 uh, active combatants right now. Damn. So Eric needs to just look at these guys very, very angrily and they die. Exo Cannon. Exoskeleton corrupted by Tower Altar, it can hurt energy projectiles at a very long distance outside the range of your champions. But is it outside the casting range of my champions? <laughs> it can also shoot energy missiles that deal heavy air damage, exploding upon impact. Energy missile. Two missiles, 250 air damage in two meter radius. Damn, okay. Final level, I guess. They don't like fire. Mm. <laughs> Fuck! An exo experimental. Oh, very rare exoskeleton, according to description here. Uh, used by the devil only in times of great threat. Is it corrupted by the Tower Guardian? Uh, very durable and high with high defenses. <laughs> it attacks at short range, but is able to distort gravity around him, making it very difficult to disengage. He is also able to call down a beam of light from the sky. Dazing all champions struck by it. Wow. 15% penetration. Wow. That's probably the highest magic penetration I've seen on enemies so far. Decent life. Decent air damage. Decent armor. Oh. Oh, what the? <laughs> Someone's gonna get Splash Mountain. Gravity pool. Increases mass 10 times. Creating a very strong local gravity distortion 6 meter radius. They're pulled in. And heavens strike. Uh, in this beam of light, hits the ground from above, dazing all champions within range. 10 seconds. So what, does it just come down and starts moving around? Is it like a fucking pillar of a dune or something? Eh. Whatever, man. So, let's see. No resistance. This guy's dead. Um, fire and air. Yeah, okay. Nah. Earth, water and air. Okay. Nothing. Like, literally nothing. So Eric and Kane can deal with this guy. Fire. Ugh. And I guess physical. And water! All the water. So water is going to be good all across the board. Except on this guy. And maybe this guy. But this guy is okay with it. It's just 60%. It's nothing. Oh, I didn't read the fire! No! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Okay, we looted that, we looted that. We're fine, we just need to walk. I couldn't uh, get Rakem back. But I'm not going to. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to read the actual... actual thing. In space! All right. <laughs> oh, they're di standing differently this time. A group of corrupted exoskeletons are assaulting your party, and also corrupted wisps, and a non-corrupted exoskeleton. No. How may I help you? Ooh, look at that. That's cool. And we have some kind of branches. Ooh, shadow branch. That's nice. We're gonna play some laser tag. Is this gonna move back and forth? Are these like? Consoles and like couches, but they are holograms. <laughs> Where are enemies coming from in this? What's the portal? Are these the only portals? Oh, and there's t these two as well. <clears throat> and they have side movement things. But if you stand here, they're not going to go around. They always choose the shortest, uh, Unleash hell. shortest way of getting All to right. us. So, Kane, just put yourself in harm's way. Like a good boy. Shoot them. I don't know if this is. Of course. Let's see. So. 
Hi. This thing blocks sight. Or at least this big thing. Yeah, the big thing blocks, uh, blocks sight. So we are going to stand Money. here. Yeah, alright, I'll go. Yeah, alright, bruh. Yes. Get in there, Kane, go. Look, Kane, hit him. Money not done. Fuck you. Put this guy down here. Can I help you? Summon the big guy. I guess okay. we can go up to the uh, little planter thing here. I never miss. Money, Uma Dilla. Yeah. Ready to serve, my lord. Ready to serve, bro. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand there and have fun. Money, Martin. How long is your casting? can cast all the way here, but you cannot cast at the back there, which sucks. Which means we're gonna have to move up. Manga. Manga. Yes. At your service. We Kill him, Kane. Kill him. Use your power of murder. Oh no, more of them came that way. How may I serve you? Uh, Money Marte. Damage. Oh, it looks so smart. Walks into the thing. Shoot them. Ah, these are the long ranged guys. Yeah, okay. Doesn't really matter, does it? When I just. Massacre them. I mean, here's the thing, right? If you move close enough, that we can just shoot at the portals as they come out. It's not gonna matter, does it? Or is, is it? Can I help you? Sure will. Copy that. Money. Money. Yes. Get fucked. <laughs> Holy shit, she's still destroying things How easily. May I serve you? You'll sure get in will. range as well. Uma, oh yeah, she's got Uma. shorter range now than her. I never miss. Because she's got pistols. Will do. So it's basically Money like Marte. this. Can I help you? Eh. Oh no! The light guide your He's in trouble. Is that guy immune to air? Exo experimental. Uh, kind of. That's okay, we can speed it up. Skane is not going to die. He's unable to. Money not die. This guy here, put this guy here. Oh, that was the last two guys. Okay, not a lot of enemies on this one. Oh, I didn't check the stats. The most important thing in the world. Stats. Ooh. A deep, rumbling hum sounds out around your party as your champions look in all directions trying to pinpoint the source of the sound. Balls of glowing energy appear from thin air. They surround your party, floating at chest height. The Deva creatures, they're going to talk to us because we freed them from their corrupted bodies. Mistress throws back her hands, filing them, filling them with deep crimson energy. Before the mystic can unleash her power, Boron raises his hand above before her. Wait, we are not in the active combat group. With Boron's words, the hum disappears. One of the forms of energy intensifies as a scratchy voice calls out. Scratchy, huh? As it finishes, each group of words, the remaining orbs of energy repeat them in a softer tone. So these beings still live. Our calculations have provided incorrect. Another being of energy glows bright and speaks, again followed by all the others in softer tone. Savage, aggressive, primitive. Returned to imprison us. These, there is no alternative. Extermination is a necessary requirement. Alright, Whisper, you can shoot now. Wait! We have not come to harm you. We are only trying to reach the bottom of the tower. Mm. False creatures, you destroyed our exoskeletons only moments ago. I mean, you attacked first, pussy. Our exoskeletons attacked us first, actually. 
corrupted exoskeletons, not Deva. Well then, why do you care? We only defended ourselves. We have no quarrel with you. Will you not let us pass peacefully? The arm returns as the spheres of energy grow and diminish in luminosity. Slowly at first, then with greater speed and in a seemingly random pattern. Eventually the beings illuminate and diminish with dizzying speed. After a few moments, their illumination collectively lowers, returning to its previous state. They were talking to each other, I guess. You are in our domain, subject, subject to our rules. To pass, you must open yourself to judgment. This does not bode well. What's the matter, mistress? Too many secrets? I have nothing to hide. Nor I. What are the consequences of failing your tests? Permanent expulsion from our territory. Oh shit, did I save? Very well, we accept your terms. So what exactly is, are you judging us on? Primitive beings, conflicted in desire, intent, and actions. Uh, morality is an unsophisticated concept, foreign to us. When beings are false in the sacred trinity, chaos ensues. There can be no trust. Trust is gone. Desire, intent, and actions must all be in harmony. And how will you know what we desire? We you have us fill out the questionnaire? How does an elf know about a questionnaire? Don't they live in the woods? Eating berries and... Drinking swamp water? One last chance for refusal. If you accept, there is no turning back. The party converses amongst itself as they will watch on from their eyeless forms. After, can they even see? After a quick inf affirmation among themselves, Connie agrees on behalf of the party. Each energy being then glows brightly, flooding the entire area with a blind blinding light. Uh, that's not blinding. Everyone shields their eyes behind hands, arms and weapons. A deep reverberating hum suns out and the light vanishes. Rakam is the first to, to peek over the edge of his axe blade. They're gone. So much for finding out what makes us us. Unseen. All that you are now is known to us. Wait, what? All that you are is now known to us. You may proceed. We'll be watching, but pay heed. There are creatures in this place which do pose no threat to the Deva, but are dangerous to your kind. Cool, let's save. Yay. What did I get from the fight? Pants. Hmm. Good defense. Bad resistance. More armor. No penny. More health. More health regen. Less more. Oh, it's the constructs. Of course it is. Hmm. I can put ethereal absorption in it. Which means. Little Miss Engineer might use it. Oh, she'll lose penetration. And a lot of movement speed. 9.2. Where's she? 11.7. Oh my god. Are we going to reach 15 with her? Hmm. Probably not. It doesn't matter. 6.6. That's bad. Honestly, if I wanted resistances, I could just forge this. Ethereal absorption wouldn't be bad though. Oh, the wait, ethereal absorption is the. Uh... I have one percent of mana each second. What's a mana? Two hundred. So that would be two mana per second. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> but I don't care. Black monolith. Ooh, we are in Tron now. The starscape of the monolith is steaming with detail and depth. An occasional twinkling or shooting star implies there is more to be subject than meets the eye. Transformers. There's an ancient chest. It looks messed up. Oh, but this one opens. Ooh, blue pants. Uh, nice armor. Verse resistances. Same health. Oh my god, it's constructs. Oh, is it worse than this? Oh, it's got forging on it. Whatever. Cracking time space. 
What else is on this floor? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's something there. So how come that they have money and chests for us, right, with items for us, and uh, crystals and blueprints here, like... Ooh, in space. What is that? Energy bridge. Looks inactive. Is that a plant? What the fuck is this place? Whoa, that's a fountain. With a plus sign. It's a healing fountain. <laughs> I know they're spreading out. Champions enter the room and immediately your connection with them is strengthened. Feel a rush of relief wash across your enti the entire party. Chamber is quiet. Save a soft trickle of water from a large fountain in the far corner of the room. Soft light falls from an unseen source above, illuminating a large stone statue in the center of the room. The statue is extremely simple in nature, being little more than a large plus sign. Yeah, but it's a... it's a hologram. Rakim collapses next to the fountain, letting his gear and weapons spill across the floor. Now this... stretches and yawns. This be the kind of room I could get used to. So peaceful and inviting, I feel as if I'm back in the endless forests. I feel so good here. All my worries are suddenly gone. We had better be careful. To Kayla's surprise, no one seems to pay her any attention. Even Whisper laughs at one of Rakim's jokes. Wow. Ah, my little man! I didn't think I could ever be so amused! With a grin, Eric removes some food from his bag. He had food all this time? Motherfucker. And sits on the side of the fountain. He offers a piece to Boron. Cheerfully accepts. It may not be... Yeah, that's for the better place. Let's stretch out and relax for a moment. A few minutes. As Kane sits down against the wall, Maya falls down next to him, resting her head on his shoulders. Is this place taken? <gasps> Shocked. <laughs> There's something about this room. It makes you feel as if, as if everything is as it should be. Mind if I take a cat nap? What the fuck is a cat nap? Kane studies at the marksman's perfect face as she closes her eyes. You can feel the shield guard's defense is lower as he agrees with Maeve. There's indeed something about the room. A sudden jolt of embarrassment sends Connie, uh, stumbling to his feet. He gently slides his pack and rolled tunic beneath Maeve's head. Uh, I need to tend to my weapons, so yes, I'll wake you when it's time to move on. Wow, uh, cutscene or something. Portal to the other world. We have to go. Symbol room plus. So I guess we just had a little rest. Neutral room plus. <laughs> Neutral room. All right. Touch it. The glowing symbol hovers in midair, slowly spinning in place. Such a simple symbol could hold nearly any meaning in this place. Yet somehow your champions feel positive. The correct answer will come to them. Yes, they feel positive about things crystals yum plant like objects like the statues you have no idea what substance these objects are engineered from king presses his hand against uh, through them as if sweeping his hand across the surface of bones and ripples washing across the entire objects they're holograms they're not real there's a crack in time space. Oh, this is the fountain. Whoa. Trippy. That is trippy. Drink it. Drink the fountain. Drink it. Attribute points. Who needs attribute points? Oh, I know who needs attribute points. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Kyla! Kyla needs because she's split three ways. Regeneration. Oh, yeah, she doesn't really need mastery anymore because the thing is strong enough, I feel. Yeah. If its health was affected by mastery, oh, can you imagine? What are these affected? Oh, these are not affected by mastery at all. Oh, they're explosion and uh, nothing. Wow, these are absolute fucking garbage. Which is sad. But they gave me an achievement last time I played. Ha 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 ha. So that's cool. 
So no mastery. She needs speed. And might. Oh yeah, because might does penetration. Ooh. Mighty penetration. Also... We don't need it. Upgrades. So we touched the Fountain of Dragon Heads. And nothing else is here, seemingly. The Light Bridge might activate at some point. Cra Wait, there's another crack in time space. Wait, where are we? We are not on this map. We're here! What the fuck? Oh, this was the uh, uh, this was the tower. We are here. <laughs> Why was this not the thing? <laughs> oh, look at this! A new world. Chasticles is the energy bridge, which we'll definitely open because we see stuff beyond it. Fountain. So we go back into the tower. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's why it's orange. Because we go back to the tower, and the tower has this more brownish, orangish, paper colored thing. And this is blue. That's why the portal's other side is blue. So it's not necessarily a reference to portal, but it is. So. <clears throat> oh, now it's more purplish, but in still blue. Oh, now we are back in this place. Ooh, scroll. Teleport device returns your party to the tower, though the environment is not familiar. Beating over the ledge, your champions now traverse. They see nothing but darkness below, so we are higher. Great, another bottomless pit. Not the most hospitable places, is it? Why should it be? Oh shit! She's back! Oh, she's back and she's ready to fight. Duh, the voice startles the group and causes Kane to draw his weapon under narrowed eyes. Ahead, the familiar crackle of energy appears, followed by the appearance of the Tower of Atar. The representation of the tower appears bright red in color and emits a macabre red halo. One does not welcome one's enemies. How many times do we have to tell you? We're not your enemy. And yet you allow yourself with them, whose alien is annihilate us. Do not deny it. I guess that's the energy all about you. I mean, we had to kind of use the portal because that was the only way. We're not aligning ourselves in anyone, we're killing everybody that attacks us. Ha ha ha. And we'll pass anyone, friend or foe, to reach it. Yes. You have no idea what creatures you're dealing with. Right and wrong is absent from their nature. For years they have been trying to destroy me, trying to overload the mono collection apparatus. It has taken much of my focus and power to avoid catastrophe at their hands, and I won't let you have them. I mean, we fixed it. We literally fixed the mono collection thing, so it doesn't blow up. Can't you see that we are friends? Don't you listen to the word we say, Str Sprite Lady. Oh, now we have soft drinks in this. We are not trying to help them do anything. Forget it, Master Smith. She listens to no voice but her own. The time for words is over. Now we must let our steel speak for us. Uh, no one's using steel but you. And even you just use magical steel, so meh. You're just like all the others he brought is brought here. I should have never aided you below the first level. I should have destroyed you the moment I met you. A mistake I will remedy this instant. Pew pew Oh no, WD forty is moving. Ambush No It's more of the same These guys from their previous floor Yes And this map Oh no Oh who's the other one? Oh no, the engineer. Who do we say first? Well, obviously Eric. Unleash hell. Unleash. Put this thing on it, okay? I'll paint the picture. Say from eternal's eternal damnation. Guess we're moving At to this corner, service. everybody. All right. You. You're coming here. 
Oh, this thing is blocking. I'm in there, uh, yes, oh, no, they jumped at him and he sprinted at them. Money Marte. That's okay, they don't care about it. Manka. Manka! Alright, everybody. Wait, if he increases our armor, his, his damage is gonna increase as well. Affirmative. Affirmative action. Alright, let's speed it up. Shoot them. Let's put some things there. <laughs> oh, what? Whoops. Guess I went. <laughs> went off the screen. Um, what else yes. do we have? I could put the cage here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that guy just died. <laughs> Money not died. More things. Some healing. Reach the little. Golem thing. Brrr. Splash mountain. Right between the eyes. Brrr. That is so useless. More summons. Yes, look at them. May the light they are the first the line of defense. So they are just doing their thing. Big guy is dead. Tiny guy is almost dead. Yes. Everybody gets armor, even this guy. Very nice. Oh wow, they have 11 armor. They are dying. Money. Ah, cause this guy. That's the last guy. Kill him. Yay. Perfect. Well, someone had a negative one something. Didn't read it again. Next time we will read it. We got more pants for the rangers. Worse, worse, same, worse, better. Wow, so it's just... But it's purple! It's only... I mean, it doesn't have penetration. Can I put penetration on it? No. Huh. What would the enchant be again? Just the uh, absorption? That doesn't really matter for them. That doesn't really matter for them. That doesn't really matter for them. Skill damage by 20%. That would increase the summons damage for Kayla. Yeah. Oh, and she gets more resistances. Look at that. She loses penetration, though. Six penetration. And regen and move speed. And attack speed. Wow. And what would she lose? Move speed. And penetration. Whatever, man. I'm not even happy about this, but I have to pick the gold up. Hey, a 72. Enchant. Elemental Shadow 3. Nice. 30%. That's a pretty decent one. Too bad it doesn't stack, although it would be extremely overpowered if it did. Small chest. Blue one-handed sword for Kane. Garbage damage, very fast. Better pen, he doesn't need. Health per hit and critical chance. How nice. Shalala. Every 
time you pick it up, it becomes more or less. Oh my god, no, that's the minimum amount, probably. There's 74! <sighs> okay, so 73 or 74 is what we need. Yay, we got a forge! That's definitely going on our pistol. Although, this is not that good. It has what? Nine armor penetrations, magic penetrations, critical chance. I could make better. Better stuff. But I don't really care. So, let's forge your pistol. Yes. And now, that pistol can have enchant. Yes. Elemental Shatter. These are not needed. This is garbage. Uh, yeah, the tier one is not good. Yeah, definitely elemental shatter. How is this more expensive? This has the potential of giving an extra 30% damage for everything that's elemental. Look, that's elemental. A little bit. And it will help all the splash mounting guys. The anic electricity, pylons, and all, all the good stuff, yes. Fire that we don't have. It's it's gonna help uh, Eric. And it gets more crit chance, actually. Is it crit chance we want? We don't want crit chance. I guess we want penetration. These are literally the same. Oh, this is Earth. You don't want Earth. Just put Whatever. Ooh! Companion of Magi 3. Nice, 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 nice. That's the most important. And the four edicts were broken. Use of the vast power in Gulf Lashar in magical conflagration. Seeing the amount of devastation and the people's ignorance to their own actions. First Magus authorized the creation of the Tower's War School. A program which tasked the most capable of Magi. Ah, oh, with the power to yawn across eons. <coughs> Uh, devising new skill and techniques and channeling the destructive power of magic in more efficient and predictable ways. You can train champions in the tower to 12. Ooh, baby, we are going back. Ooh, it's a little taller now. Actually, I didn't even upgrade it yet, so it looks the same. Never mind. <laughs> ah! Ooh, it's a little different here, and it got a side. Side boob, yes. And it has a question mark on the, the wheel there. Nice. Look at the nice foundation. Well, Eric, it's time for you to rise to the occasion. Oh, yeah, because this will give water lords. Water lo This is expensive. Damn, suddenly we're out of money. See, that's why we min max. Where do we keep this elf? Ooh, revival! Yeah, we can have them with resistances or more speed so they can run away. That's so ass. What was this again? Oh yeah, it adds air and water resistance reduction, which is not bad. Actually, it's not bad. If I want Splash Mountain, I could get rid of... I could get rid of the totem. And I could just go... Although that's just 15%. So what, that would be 85% if they are on 100. But these guys would deal 15% of their damage. Yep. Although, with the uh, minus 30% from her gun... You know, stacking it up could make it good. But I definitely don't want to get rid of the healing. Also, these stay, and I like this, so... Permanent Earth Rhythm minus 1.5%. This is so weak. Oh, baby, look at their damage. They get 200 health. More damage. Look at that damage. Oh my god, 200 damage. Almost. 198. And... Uh, Seven, I guess. I don't know. I don't know math. But they got some resistance. 10% element of resistance. So then I have 
120 water resistance. The slow is still the same because it needs needs level 13. God damn it. Ah oh, man, and the ice stuff comes from level 13 as well. Why is this not why was this not <laughs> point oh because it didn't have points. Ooh, 200 per second. Uh, sexy. What is the other one? Oh yeah, frostbite. It's frostbite slows enemies when they leave the cloud. But by how much? It doesn't even say. Hooters. This guy is maxed. Ooh, the totem. They don't have points for the totem. The totem is not important. And this could be maxed out. So they would get 15 armor penetration, 15 magic penetration. It should go for the entire party, including the summons. Because that's something. So I could have the sword with the uh, penetration and the leaf with the water resistance reduction. That would be 30%. On top of the 30%, she could do for 10 seconds with the uh, pistol shots. You know, that's a 60% reduction. That would make Splash Mountain the focus of the entire party. And I don't want to do that. They're good where they are. This would just make it 10 more mana and it would last a long time. So it lasts 30, it's less than 90 seconds. He doesn't need it because even the 30 seconds with his cooldowns, 63%, he, he can recast it. But I mean, we don't use this because it's absolute garbage. Plus 20 earth damage, woo! This is the best thing about it. But having to upgrade the middle just to reach this, it's not worth it. So we're not going to touch that. He's got one point left. I can't do anything with that. I guess we can put it in Earth Fury. Earth Fury! And he's got some points. Six more points. Mm -mm -mm. It barely does anything. I feel like the penetration is better. So he's getting all the might. All the might. And now it costs him four. Did he did he change appearance, I wonder? Let's see. Does he look more wooden now? Mayhaps. Oh yeah, look! He he, he grew he grew more more helmet. So I guess that's not a helmet. That's his actual fucking face now. He grew a bark on his face. And he's growing little... Little side antlers. <laughs> Did his leg turn into wood? Oh no, that's just lighting. Oh, but the other half of his chest did turn into wood. Plot twist, at level 15 he will turn into a tree and we have to leave him behind, so I guess he's the other one who dies. So it's WD-40 and Eric, and then Whisper will get the 6. Ah, oh, what a grim end for Eric. Just gonna turn into a tree. So this is where we are. We got the chest, we got this entire place. So we get another TP. Teleport! Power Processing Facility, Expedition Node 2. Note. Cast of Wind sends a handful of papers scattered across the floor. Assu assuming they may be important, your champions reach for them. But only Boron recovers one. Much of the page is damaged beyond all recognition, but a small only a par small portion is legible. It reads. Legible returns. The new power sources are working better than expected, though the cost of acquiring them is high. The stranger machines seem to be getting more aggressive and deadly after each engagement. We lost three of our group in the last encounter. I must confess, there is something about the nature of these power elements that is disturbing. At times they almost react as if alive. Sleeth has assured us they are not alive in any fashion and he clearly has more experience with them. Still, if they, are, if they were living creatures and we've been capturing them and using them as fuel this whole time, no, I mustn't entertain such horrible thoughts. I actually started watching an anime called Copcraft, and they are turning fairies into drugs in that one. Like the actual 
fairies. Not just fairy dust, no, the entire fucking fairy. They melt them down and they turn them into fairy dust and sniff them. Yep. <laughs> and they are sentient. So, yeah. This is fun anime so far. 71. Yeah! Knowing that there is 74, 71 is not enough. We must be more ambitious. Or greedy. Ah, yes. I guess greedy it is. Hey, 3600. Oh, it's nice, nice. Electricity tube. Engine containers of the power from electricity. Their constant blue glow and sporadic sparks of miniature lightning. A true testament to the things. Oh, yeah. Lightning in a bottle. We've had this before. And since then, we realize it's not a city that they speak of and they say electricity. It's, it's, it's the power. But I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. They're everywhere. Oh, no. Beyond the remnants of a battle, another chest, ready for touch. Another black fissure in space hours in midair, it looks nearly identical to the first portals, only larger, really. Larger, eh? That's a scroll. Earth resistance! Hmm... I didn't read what... I think that's the first Earth resistance scroll. I don't think I've ever read the flavor text on those ones. I kind of want to do it. So I will. As well, the Dwarven Lord of the Great Mines of Valoroth was so deeply attuned to the forces of Earth that he could never be crushed. He once saved 300 miners from a death by supporting a strut on his almighty shoulders while they all fled a collapsing pit. I guess that's a pit. After it had collapsed, he emerged himself. Twelve years later. Damn, he just didn't die. Oh, no, no, no. Mighty Earth Resistance. Yay, 81%. Only negates enemy debuffs up to 1%. 0%. Should be 1%. Rounding error. Yeah. Alright, chesticle. An ancient chest. Gloves for more archery. They are the only ones getting items. Uh, aside from the uh, titan stuff. But, you know. Which is nice because there was a floor where basically only the mages were getting stuff. Okay. Featherweight obsidian gloves of tension. Ooh, that's speed tension. Ooh, nice. Better armor, actual resistances, better health. It's blue with three forge slots. Hmm. Wait a minute, critical chance. <gasps> it cannot be. Our critical chance. It will dip. Dip below. It'll get 4% attack speed and cooldown doesn't really matter for her. So this honestly is not good for her. Yeah, just a 4% extra attack speed. Because resistances don't matter. I mean, she's pretty low on them, so like, they kind of matter, but she does have the fire skill. I can put that back on her. What can gloves get again? Hands. Magic gloves. More cooldowns than whatever this is. We still don't have this one. And we don't have this one. <laughs> I'm upset. So what would does she have? She also has 18% crits. She does need those because she does not have any crit increasing skill. Yeah. So that's a negative on her. And she would only gain 4% attack speed, which is like, whatever. Let's do it. Because this Reign of Arrows was kind of disappointing. There. Extra 15%. That is 99%. Ah! <laughs> it cannot be. There. 18%. Good. Very good. No cause for alarm. Yes. Ooh, she's almost at this. She doesn't even need more levels. 
I don't care about smokescreen and it's already max availability. I don't care about arrow barrage. I barely use it. And I mean, even though it, it gains more blind duration, the 5 seconds is good enough because just 5 arrows of 5 seconds. And she's got cooldown of 3 seconds, minus 21%, so almost just 2 seconds, really. So she can spam this, although it's expensive. And she can't really spam it. Um, bear traps is the one. Ah, oh, the devs knew. The devs fucking knew that bear traps would be a very, very crucial part of the, uh, the fights. They put this thing right there. But this is her one, two, three, fourth skill. Ah, oh, the taunt also goes there, even though it's shit. Oh, so I guess all fourth is there, but I mean... <laughs> the ice! The Shouting Shout, which is good. The King Dome, and... <laughs> Alright, never mind. What do these guys get? Mind Control, Blizzard, oh, Blizzard. Oh, the Mighty Have Fallen, Firestorm, oh yeah, that was pretty fun. He's got Ice Chains and Blind Rage. Ooh. Is he the lowest level in the party? Yeah, he doesn't even have level 7. Oh, and she doesn't have also neither. They're 5. But I mean, we don't use them. I had Titan. Titan, Titan. But yeah, back to her. Bear Traps. And that's the only reason. She doesn't need to get to 15, only 14. Because these are. Disappointingly bad. This is fun, but bad. Yeah. So back to fire arrows, because we kind of need it again. Because I so choose. What could I forge on this? I guess cooldown reduction. 9%? Nah, that's a waste of crystals. We don't have a lot of crystals. You know, I gotta... Gotta keep them for when the time comes to craft tier 4s, you know? The time will come, eventually. At some point, after the game is done. Oh, this is definitely a bad fountain. Drink it. Oh, yeah, my own mana region decreased. Oh, no. If only I could reload the game. So she's back. Oh, no, it's these things. The champions continue through the strange day by environment. Another energy being appears up ahead. Hovers off to the side, allowing a clear way past. Eric suggests avoiding them as much as possible. But as you pass, it begins to grow brightly. Maybe you should talk to it. Maybe this is part of the test. No. Yes. Contradictory. No, I am an explorer of this outpost. Yes, every moment of life is a test. What? Outpost. They were our explorers. We were, only, we were once like you, beings of flesh and blood, with limited travel. And we transcended. Oh, they did the uh, spiritual uh, transcendence in Stellaris as well. Just like the Oran Gorgante. But these guys didn't become hungry hungry beings. These guys just kind of float. Yeah. Changing form from physical to energy. Energy form gave us new horizons, allowing us to explore entire universes, multidimensional double entrances, and transmit and transit timescapes. Oh, sure. Tell me more. It's so exciting. Our purpose is now to observe and learn. Great. What's so important in Artara to demand the attention of such powerful beings? They are probably bored. So they are just looking at the demise of this world. Very little. You stand in a remote observation facility. This portion of the universe has little significance. That they were assigned here were so, were so a punishment for mistakes made. Them here is unrewarding. The only real interest is the attempt by the Organte to break the dimension barrier here. It's still unknown to us why they chose this place. So, are these guys stronger than the Organte? Wow. We're beating them. The Organte! You know of them. Of course, we have observed them for many millennia, destroying worlds and feeding. And you do nothing! Uh, do you see them having hands or legs or anything? They're fucking orbs. With shitty mech suits. 
You're not the keepers of the universe. The Argante have right to live, as we have the right to live. No one has the right to live. It's not a right. It's just a thing you have. But as we understand it, if these Argante have their way, they will destroy everything eventually, even you. Uh, yeah, I guess they have the right to destroy and feed. <laughs> This is unlikely. The Deva can exist in between space. The Organte, for all their powers, are unable to see there. Yep, so these guys are higher and mightier than the De Organte. Nice. My people have a memory for tribal chief. Wait when a great storm came. Though he survived, when he returned to his village, everyone has, else has died. Eventually, he was so overcome with grief, he killed himself. Okay, so what the fuck is the point of this? And the tribal chief's trinity was false, and false trinity leads to chaos. But perhaps you are false. You are not false like the others. Your trinity is balanced. They may see fit to help you. Well, I got a trinity prime. She's kind of balanced, if you know what I mean. This crystal seems to be made out of light, yet when touched, your champions can feel some pressure exerted on their hands. It's strong light. <laughs> Whoa, big rocks. Is this a negative negative room? It looks pretty red. Time for some negative ro lore. Oh no, it's it's an axe. All it takes for the plus sign of green to turn into the X of I don't know, magenta is a little little push. And just tips. As the champions move into the next chamber, your connection with them flutters. Your vision through their eyes is clouded in their presence, and their speech speech struggles against the faint high pitched. Oh, it's my speech struggles as well. High pitched veil and unseen clattering. At the same time, your connection weakens. You feel a distant rush of panic and fear rise up throughout the party. Though it's hard to make out, you believe large mountains, fountains spewing a black tar like liquid. Lies in the far corner of the room. In the center, some sort of statue in a rudimentary axe-like shape to manage the room. I feel sick to my stomach. Where's that infernal racket coming from? The King of Shadows has no desire to spend another second longer than necessary here. Let's move on at once. Party quickly makes its way towards the exit of the chamber, but before the first champion can leave, Boron stops in his tracks. His hollow gaze fixes on the empty air before him as a memory floods his mind. We shared the giant vision of a lone frostling in a tor torchlight torchlit chamber, fighting with shadow-like creatures. The bloodied bodies of, of dwarf, human, and elf lie strewn on the floor, though you cannot see their identities. Sh the shadow creatures let loose horrific wails of pain as they are crushed and battered by the frostling's mighty hammer. But above their cries, something else sounds out. Something Boron finds a hundred times more horrifying. The frostling is laughing actually enjoying his punishment of the dark beings. The flash of light, the vision ends, returning Bor's attention back to the present. What's wrong, friend Roger? The memory of my people that does not belong. I have just glimpsed it. Tears escaped the giant's eyes. What was it? The memory of pure, unrelenting violence. How do you know it was the memory you seek? Perhaps this room? Bora moves to leave the chamber. I am a frostling Yarnwarf. Memories are the one thing we know all about all others. Damn. He used to be a murder machine. Hell yeah. Hey, Boron. Catch. Ah! Boron speed? No. Not his speed. Crimson some glow at the symbol X anchored in the sarcophagus shaped pillar dominates every inch of this room. Its influence is inescapable, as are the feelings of failure and dread that linger here. Damn! Just like my hometown. Plant like objects again. How come there's plants like these back in Artara, simply brushing against them since we were nausea ripping, rippling through your champions? Plants of throw up, of course. Oh look, there's the energy bridge. But we cannot turn it on. Oh! It's the... Ooh, it's faster though. 
We. <laughs> nice. So we turned it on. Fun. I'm guessing that the rave bridge above the pit of darkness was a Deva construct. So we can thank them for being able to continue our quest. Oh, big guys. Deva guys. Evil Deva guys. Another edgy bitch bridge uh, shortcut later. Oh, is that new or is that the cannon guy? At the end of the light bridge, three large Deva constructs stand at attention. Uh, I don't think that's three. The metal gaunt that's glowing with blue light, their eyes flicker blue as they make no acknowledgement of your party's presence. Why do I feel like we should be giving a password or something? We are unlikely to attack. That is not much of a test. Well, we gotta go through them. So let's go through them. As the group approaches, the eyes of the Deva Sentinels turn bright red. They point their pole arms at your champions and charge. Snarls at Whisper. Why? He's not even in the combat group anymore. It's it's fine. Now it's the same thing. Corrupted Deva exoskeletons challenge your party at a du to a duel. Different type of enemies of an increasing strength will approach 60 seconds apart. Can your champions deal with them in time? Tower of Time. How may I help? Outside the Tower of Time. Oh, it's the same map. You know what we could do? Heru Amin. Acknowledged. Consider it done. Affirmative. Shoot them. Shoot them, please. They are Any coming. Ah. May the light guide your path. Mani Marte. Come on, Mani Marte. Yes, Don't Lord. lag behind. Nyum. Moving into position. He's gonna sit his ass here. We'll do. Yeah. Will do. Shorter range, you have longer range. Manka. Le Merna. Manka. Look yes. at this. Easy game. I never miss. Oh, there's your crit chance. Forgot yeah. she needs that now. Get stunned. Pussies. Let's speed this up. Oh, oh, they cannot leave. Oh, they cannot leave. Ha ha ha. Toy with them. The eternal toy. I mean. yes. yes. Money not done. What is that? Where did that come from? Oh, look, there's a portal here. Oh no, what are we going to do? Shoot them. Oh no. Oh, he's fucking dead. <laughs> Holy shit. He just died. Oh, that's my own guy. No, don't die. Yes, heal. Heal all of you. Yes, good. There we go. They sent one guy from above. Ooh, or from below, behind. Damn. Stats! Let's not forget the stats system. 30,000 damage almost by the Waterlords. Some damage by the big guy. He was cat playing catch up, I think. These things did some damage. This guy did 6,000 almost. This guy did nothing, but he's a mascot. He doesn't need to do anything. Kane did absolutely fuck all. This is the first mission where he does nothing. It was just a precaution, I guess. And these guys did something, and she had the range to deal stuff, you know. Unleash yeah, she was able to shoot at the portals and stuff here. But yeah, summons. Just... Damn. The trend continues. Splash Mountain forever. Oh, what is that? Up ahead, a Deva Construct stand his attention. It makes no acknowledgement of your champion's presence. Oh dear! Not again! It's a big one. It's made out of wood. Opens her mouth to speak. Did she has a mouth? 
by Granix Blades if ye say one word, Shadow Witch. The weapons draw and your party cautiously approaches within just a few feet of the machine. The construct springs to life, its eyes glowing bright blue. Let me look at the glo gloves I got, man. What the hell? Metallic artificial voice. You are unlike the others. Not trying to enslave. Perhaps the Artarians have changed. Perhaps your trinity truly is balanced. It seems you are not like the others either. So far off, you guys seem to have been trying to kill us. Even though we are supposed to be having a peaceful little test. Not like the others. The others were corrupted. Corrupted. One of the energy Deva mentioned that. I did not think to take him literally. What do you mean? The Tower Corruptor. It comes to our domain and infects some of us. We became prisoners in our own exoskeletons. Our trinity, out of balance. So why don't you stop them? They are all people, your responsibility. Kay, what's gotten into you? We do not destroy our own. They have the right to live after all. <laughs> you know what they are destroying others? Our trinity must stay in balance. How convenient. Suddenly, Kane rushes against the Deva Construct, drawing his sword, ready to run it through. Construct is taken completely by surprise, allowing the shield guard to place his blade between the plates of the Construct's chest armor, in preparation for a coup de grace. What the fuck? Why would he do that? Exactly, Whisper. Arrgh! Fuck, I died! How did you stab that big-ass thing? You didn't even reach. Oh no, it's dead. They'll not raise their fingers to stop their own from killing our kind, but as soon as a sword is raised to their throat, they have no cause of killing us. Do you, creature? Damn, he just went frenzied. Holy shit. Okay, stop. It's too late. It's dead. With hard voice. No, my. I had enough. The avatar turns on us. His deva offers no quarter. It appears I am the only one who acts with honor. That's not really honor. Hey, bless. And I grow wary of this disadvantage. It's time to even the playing field. How you doing? Unexpectedly hostile. That was a miscalculation. Eh. Hey, you only hear this, the torchbearer, man. I rushes to Kane's side as he plunges his sword into the Davis Construct's chest. Simultaneously, a pure a purple wisp of energy escapes. Eyes wide with shock. Have you gone mad, Kane? Your code of seven virtues, as King's champion, doesn't allow you. Kane sheets his weapon. Turns his back to the marksman and walks defiantly toward the chamber exit. When hollow night? Nay. When you, uh. When you need me a scarf, yes. Then. I finally see clearly, High Courier. The time for games is long gone. We'll never reach my Lord's Gore and save Artara if we are hindered by my foolish oaths. So I hereby revoke them. Holy shit! No more oaths! Only murder. Doesn't eat oats anymore. If it takes me from the king's grace, so be it. Maya stands shocked, speechless against her long-time companion's sudden change of heart. Sensing the seriousness of the situation, the rest of your champions fall in behind Kane without further word. Send location, I send you scarf. Now here's the thing. There wouldn't be no challenge in it if I sent you my location. You have to uh, make the scarf and then roam the country asking asking forever you will never find me never all right champion challenge then we can look at the gloves mage gloves mage gloves relic gloves of neurosis oh neurosis that's probably the anxiety's upgrade actually it's not its upgrade it's it's worse <laughs> Armor and health, okay, that's better, but attack speed and cooldown is worse. Although, 15% is on it. But this is green, so I can't put the 15% on it. What can I what can I make it into? Little more crits, 9% more of that. And resistances, so no. Yeah, no no good. What is she wearing? Oh, she's wearing... Yeah, cool down. 41... Wait, why is she wearing something better? 3, 3, 10, 10, 14, 14, 32... 41... And 10% crit chance. I don't care about that 10% crit chance. 
But I care about the cooldown. What the hell? Yeah, it's better. 41% cooldown. Holy shit. Back to 72%. No Hollow Knight. Goodbye. Alright, Blash. You can play Hollow Knight anytime you want. Yes. Cool beans. Let's go back to the uh, city. Check this challenge out. Challenge, challenge. Check this challenge out. Day but challenge. Small group of easy. Oh, look, they look cool. They're transformers. They're transformers that give no money, but more crystals. Give a ring. Exotic band. Void resistance, armor penetration, mana points, and mana regeneration. Not that important. And a boss. It obsidian shield enchant. Which is also not important. We don't care about this. We literally don't need anything from any of them. Fuck them. One day I will do that, but not now. And I'm talking about the challenges, not Hollow Knight. I don't think I'll ever stream Hollow Knight. If I ever play Hollow Knight, it will be just by myself. This hole is deeper than the other hole. Look. You can see the bottom of this one. Hmm. Is there... Ah! Oh, is there a pattern? Ah, oh, so I can see a cut of the map here. Oh, that's one of these things, actually. Never mind. It's kind of clipping through. Oh, that one is deep as well. So the only one that's not endless depth is this. Interesting. What does it mean? Eva Construct. Kane, what were you thinking? He was not hostile to us. I snapped Mave all right. Besides, I just killed this, his suit, not the creature itself. Strain yourself next time, warrior. You can't kill a suit, though. It was never alive. That's why you can't kill a Warframe. It was never alive. You can kill an Umbra, but... Yeah. <coughs> what? I've seen what they were capable of if you broke them. They wiped the whole expedition of the ancient Magi and Engineers. How are the alignments? Sympathetic, receptive, unreceptive. Agreeable. Wait. Fucking Rakem is still leading. What the hell? Sympathetic, sympathetic, and unreceptive. Wow. Bunch of sour pussies. <laughs> Whoa! We're back in the tower. Here to be exact. Whatever here is. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. Teleport? Is this a uh, Titan part? Yes, but it's the leg plate, not the shield. I want the shield. The shield. Alright, what does this do? Thorns to. Oh, that's good. Alright, some more armor. Less resistances. I don't care. More life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No resist, no regen. More. More negative movement speed. But the Thorns too persists. However, once I get Thorns 3, I can put that on this, but I can't put it on this. See my dilemma? See? My dilemma? One twenty nine to one thirty two. One point one movement speed. I'm gonna hurl. And his resistances are going to absolute garbage. We can't, can't let ourselves fall that far. It 19 armor on that one. What the hell? Why is what the hell? Oh, is it because of the thorns? Oh, it's probably because of the thorns. But if I could forge this... Ah, but I have to double forge it. Yeah, that's the thing. These are tier 2 pants. I could make him tier 3 purple. And just put thorns on that. Yeah. And this is absolutely garbage compared to the other thing. It gives him health, but we're not using him. And even if we started using him, he's still kind of capable. 70% crit, 50 penetration. Good enough life and mana. I can level him up to 10. 
if I need him stronger, so... Uh, yeah. Eight so far, the helmet has been okay, right? <laughs> so yeah, let's forge or craft him. Tier 3 pansies. Heavy, 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 heavy greaves. These gloves look so stupid, look at that. I like the progression of things, though. I don't know why the boots are under the ring and emulate. What about the medium? Whoa... Whoa, the helmet goes through such a dramatic transformation. <laughs> the boots are ugly. What about the mage stuff? <laughs> some peasant gar garments and some gloves turn into some actual mage looking things and... Ew, what are these shoes? I haven't even uh, received any uh, tier 3 shoes. How are his shoes? What are these shoes? Tier 2 shoes. Are they good? Deck speed, resistance aura, it's nothing Interesting. Let's craft him some shoes. I want to see these shoes. So I can give him normal shoes that have nothing. Movement speed shoes. Mm. And uh, mana shoes. 3, 8, 20 health. Movement speed and 4, 10, 30 health. And f this is so much better. I mean, it's more expensive, but. Oh, they look ugly. Really ugly shoes. Bowen speed, 0, 0.0. Wait, why is that 0, 0.0? Why does it show up? Oh, it's the Construct War Shoes on Gust. Oh yeah, because it's Construct but Gust, so it had extra and negative movement speed as well, and I forged movement speed on it. <laughs> oh, it's funny. So he would lose attack speed, but he would gain 3 life and some resistances that he doesn't need, but he would gain mana. And regeneration, because he gains mana, and I can put the resistance R on that. So that's cool, he gets some boots. Watch me get a bunch of uh, tier 3 boots for him. Uh... Oh yeah, craft him heavy pants so we can craft him heavy pants of normalcy heavy pants of uh, damage he doesn't need that or more protection yes definitely more protection minus 40 mana cool why is that the first thing it always gives three speed health penetration i mean health regeneration plus this has a lot more uh, armor out of air resistance, but more armor, more resistances, less air resistance, but that's perfectly fine. More health, more health regen, speed instead of life, that's fine. Because he's going to get some thorns too. But it's cheap too, holy shit. Point. Almost dismantled it. Twenty armor. Whoa. Seven. Thirteen. Oh, that's the wrong pants. This is the one. Whoa. I guess Rakim can take this. He'll have some some thorns. And and movement speed. Yeah, definitely. Thorny boys. Thorny boys! Ready to roll! 73? Yeah, 74 is the max. So 73 is definitely good. Worthy of acquiration. With all that text. Oh! A small forge! Forge her helmet and get her crits. Yeah. 
Let's do that. Yeah. Crits or 20% extra pen? I mean, she doesn't need the crits because she can use her ability. Hmm. 58 pen. 36 magic pen. Yes, that's nice, nice. Crit chance. Because I do often forget to put the power on her, so... 86 is okay. That's nice. Thank you, little forge thing. And we're back into the blue place. Ooh, books. Once again, the champions move into a strange chamber, this time feeling intense sensations of confusion and doubt. Hundreds of thorn pages and rolled scrolls lie strewn about here. Glancing around them, your champions notice writing in various inks, scribed from various implements, scrawled across the walls. Though, wait, what walls? There are no walls here. Well, there's no fountain in this room. There's a statue of a simple, large circle in the center of the room. That's not a circle. That's Baroque a tear. <laughs> oh no, that's a square. I thought it was a diamond, but it's a square. Reading from the wall. There's no wall. Argob, Nepti, do not. This is not language enough. Do not. Also reading from the wall. This is one in common tongue, but makes no sense. Four layer cakes does not a maker bake. Ah, true, true, true. Three layers, no more. Yeah, golden rule. Yes. Scribblings of a madman? No. Scribblings of a cock. <laughs> a baker. Expecting one of the scrolls, or just a random collection of materials. Important secrets could be stored among such things. I could stay here for a year, reading day and night. Still not read enough through all of this. Perhaps he should. <laughs> Touching the smooth circle statue, a grimace breaks upon Born's face. This place does not feel right. We don't have time to waste here. We're not in the Tower of Time anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, fellas. The tower, the avatar, and his deva, the Organthe, my lord's mission. Maybe none of this is right. Maybe this is nothing more than a room full of fools. Don't say that, Kay. Perhaps the avatar is... Looks puzzled. What, Lowborn? Perhaps the avatar is what? Uh, I don't remember what I was thinking. Never mind. I think we should leave here sooner later than later. Rather than later. After reading through a dozen papers, Whisper holds up and calls your party's attention. She reads the passage aloud. Voice acting? No. What? What passage? There was no... P she didn't read anything aloud. Hello? She doesn't have a neck! Alright. <laughs> well, I guess... Maybe I double-clicked, although... No, I didn't. I think it popped up. I would have noticed, I swear. The glowing symbol is hovering in the air, positioned above the west. Nothingness of space it represents this area. It's not a zero. <laughs> Filled with scrolls and books filled with indecipherable content. It is difficult to understand how much a simple symbol could be relevant among so many other interesting things. A sense of uncertainty rushes over your champions. Knowledge room. Cool beans. Where is the bridge? Uh, knowledge room. The bridge is here. So let's go. Ooh. Choice matrix. Matrix button. Let's not go in there. Oh no, it's one of those puzzles. I hate that. It's such a simple puzzle, but I always fuck it up because I always forget the uh, the correct way. Where you can just fucking do it in like two, three steps. No, there's another one. No. I despise it. Unless it's not what I think it is, but it's definitely what I think it is. Fucking 3x3 three three monstrosity. Ugh. Whoa, we activated bridge. Hyper bridge. No. 
Hello. It looks like a strange glass at first, but on closer inspection, inner currents reveal its water like nature, and in place by unknown means. It's a hologram. There's something over there. In Gen Scroll. Oh, fuck! Champions have been trapped. Free them before remaining champions are armed by the enemy forces. They trapped the hologram. No. Ready to serve, my lord. Oh, a new map. Ooh, pretty. All right. If you see any energy bikes, do not cross the lines. You will die. They are very far away, next to portals. Although Eric is here, so we don't care. Hello, I mean. <laughs> we fine. Who is this Maeve and who is this? Oh yeah, the other guy. Obviously. Why do they never capture Kane? Does the game know that I won't rescue him? <laughs> Acknowledge. Oh fuck! Fuck you, asshole! Fuck you! Fuck you all! Yes, Money, Marte. Hold down the fort, boys. Damn, he's strong. Right between the eyes. Kill that. Money. There's no lale. May the light guide ah! your path. Unleash hell. Money, Marte. All right. Cool. You go there. Right between the eyes. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Create. All right, and now we can speed it up. It's just whatever. On it. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Yes. Give us some. How do I mean? Some things here. That guy's not gonna live for long. Yeah. Money. Did I not speed it up? How the fuck? Yes. Yes. Money not done. Man. Yes. Julian. Where did he go? Why the fuck did you, you go there? Will do. Money. There's no lale. Sea Samir. There's no lale. Uma de la. Julien. Amin vera. Yasen le. Sure will. Whoops. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Sea Samir. Amin vera. Yasen le. Manga. Le merna. Uma de la. Manka. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Did some four damage with that thing. Nice. Amin Vera Yasen Le. Oh my god, he's still talking. <laughs> oh no. Blue boots of mediocrity. Alright. What do you have? Oh yeah, we have the other one. Yeah, these are literally garbage now. Literally garbage. Still going for the enchant. Mm. Mantle of God, damn it. I don't care about that, man. It's not that important. Not on this difficulty. Just the normal difficulty. That's it here. Yeah. Guess we have to go and touch. <sighs> touch the puzzle. But it reaches the end of the path. There are roads leading further, but they are cut off by a vast deepness of the space. Space! Starts, stars are glistening in the distance like droplets in the ocean of nothingness. In the middle, a response matrix is summing presently. Suddenly, a lone deva appears in front of the party and they hear a deep booming voice. We know now. You. 
In all your physical form and the shadow you cast as you move through your domain. Ah, domain. The time for the first true test has come. Be attentive now. No. Three paths to choose, three paths as mirrors of your inner self. Answer the question, like the symbols, truthfully, and the way will open. There are no right, no wrong answers. There are no answers here at all. It is the question that matters. If you would consider us the enemy, would you have destroyed us if given the chance? That was the question? Hmm, a question. What? Okay, so it's not what I think it is. Hmm. What is on the other side? the other side had a side what would it be on it this thing is so huge it's, it reaches up there damn I'm guessing this would lead here I see some uh, crystals crystals as a reward okay we don't need those yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh crystals here on this side. Damn, I'm gonna have to save and just trigger. Beep, boop, bop, boop, boop. I don't know what I'm doing! Middle? Middle? Huh? huh? Mid? No? We have no clue! We are lost in space. Question. Drawing one of three. Ah, oh, the symbols. Are we the enemy? Ah, oh, I can do an X, a circle, or whatever the fuck. Processes were overloaded. And it's gonna answer with a big old zero. Crystals. In a fight, so be it, follow the path you have chosen. Wait a minute. But, how do I get all the fights if I can't even go to that? No. No! I hope I didn't save. Did I save? Because now it auto saved, but did I save? I didn't save. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good. Ah. I answered uncertainty, and they gave me a lot of crystals. Mm. Ah, yum! Don't mind me. No. But a swarm of corrupted wisps are attacking your party, not just wisps. My blade is yours to command. Thank you, Kane. Yes. Your wish is my command. Where are you going? No Why are you? What are you doing? When did they swap to attack yes. mode? What the hell? Sure will. Money mark there. Manga. <laughs> Manga. On my way. How may I help? Murder! Damn, she's got range. Oh, they just killed the guy, huh? Oh. 
done. Whoa, we got that. We got the thingy amulet from from WD forty. Wayne, this thing died so quickly. It's kind of a shield, but it's still better than the swarm of garbage. Four slots on it. Ooh, the constructive relic amulet. Oh, destructive, rather. Critical chance. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, 2% critical chance. Good dash. Wow. 98%. Well, that can become better. 100. More than 100. Yay. Woo. We fixed racism. <laughs> what? Armor, she doesn't need. Regen, she doesn't need. Crit chance, she does have. Health regeneration. And mana regen. I mean, she doesn't really need it. She's gonna keep that. We're gonna break this. Actually, do we want to break this? What do you have? We have air resistance. More armor. Yeah. Movement speed. What do you have? Uh, less resist or less regen, more attack speed and more cooldown reduction. Yeah. Resistances. Cooldown, attack speed, less crit chance. But I mean, it doesn't matter how far she's above 100. What do you have? Garbage. There. You inherited that purple. Congratulations. 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 What's that bleed damage again? 80. Oh no, no, wait. 10 over how much? 10 per second. Oh, 8. No, didn't be true. But, oh, 12 seconds. 120 damage. Although it only has to hit enemies once, I don't have to draw a circle around them. Or weakness for 12 seconds. I mean, debuff is still better. Or she could, she could become an active smoke screener. Just jump around with a blinding smoke screen. <laughs> no, that's pointless even this is pointless all of it is pointless at least this gives her some damage and i don't have to worry about it just put it on every 40 seconds done i guess i gave her the explosive so her attacks now they have a uh, whatever yeah sure sure now she does have aoe I think she could have the same thing, right? Yeah, splash with knockback or avoid damage. Too bad. She gets the uh, elemental weakness or critical chance. Fuck, I saved. Force of habit. Force of habit. Whatever lies in the other ways, now we will never know. Because we chose the big ol' zero. Fuck. I guess we'll have a crap ton of crystals. No! They closed it. <laughs> I will cry. What if, what if one of the other passages had money instead of crystals, just all over the place? I will never know. 
Oh well. Following the bridge, your champions come to a new chamber of considerable size. Inside, a half a dozen Deva constructs standing with their backs toward your party. So your party gathers at the entrance of the room. The machines turn around, revealing bright red eyes. A spooky a voice echoes out of the constructs. It is metallic, distorted, but strangely familiar. Only half a dozen? Pfft, that's gonna be a quick fight. Did you think my power so insignificant? Did you simply... Did you think that simply leaving the tower would save you from my grasp? I don't understand. How's she here? She must be the Corruptor. The one Deva mentioned. Uh, if you would read the bestiary or whatever, you would know that she is the Corruptor, but... Eh. Also, what happened to that guy we saved from the tower? He's still just bumming around in, this, in the library? Indeed, using her influence to control their own machine mechanisms. As they set plans to dis in motion to destroy me, I too reach out with plans of my own. As powerful as they are, the machines are vulnerable to my influence. You chose unwisely. These machine creatures will not provide the salvation you seek. I will see to that. Okay, time to kill these half a dozen Deva constructs. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hoi, 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 hoi. Wait a minute, how do we go back? There was another way. An entire other way. A large and elite corrupted Deva exoskeletons are assaulting your party. Guess I have to go through this, teleport back to the previous tower area, then go back into this place and go and choose the other puzzle as well. Which is not a puzzle, apparently, it's just a test. Yes. Alright, same old, same old. Go here. Here. Yes, copy that. Yes. Here. Speed up. Money. Create life. How may I serve you? You also create life. What the fuck? That's some insane range you had there. On it. Oh fuck. Don't okay. Ooh. Yes. Can I help you? Stop it. Sure will. Ah, it's yeah, all right, I'll go. Don't worry about it. Oh wow, they killed everybody. They're killing everybody. Okay, go. Right between the eyes. And he's gone. How may I serve you? How may I serve you? Yeah, I even take a healing totem, asshole. There you go. Get fucked. Yes, copy that. <laughs> Doink. Put him in a cage. Unleash hell. Yeah. Money. Ready to serve, my lord. Noink. Your wish is my command. Money, Martin. Who's the last asshole? Man, just kill it. You got this, guys. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. The two handed tier four hammer. Mm. Hammer of considerable power. Void, stun chance, cleave. Less armor pen. No crit chance. Man. No crit chance. It's blue. Okay, everybody, can we break these? No. <laughs> oh, wait, I can go back this way. Uh, silly me. I thought this was a barrier as well, but it wasn't. Oh, what is this? Sage. So is this... There's still enemies there. It's a hard... 
How do I 100% this thing? Exotic bow? What? <laughs> what the? Path plus. Path O. Path. The negative path had a fountain and an exotic bow. <laughs> there was a correct answer. They fucking lied. They asked if I would have killed them as an enemy. I should have said no. Of course I should have said no, because they have the right to live. That's the trinity and balance. You know, you don't kill them. Also, my fucking OBS is shit again. Hold on. Alright, let's see if the fucking voice noise gate works again or not. And it doesn't work. Alright, OBS. I'm fucking upset about this fucking OBS program. And now it works. Really. And now it doesn't work. And... I don't know what the fuck it detects. Because when I set it up, I set it up that even the fans won't detect it or trigger it. So if I don't talk, it's just silent. Yet it keeps. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Maybe the microphone has some kind of thing in it. Maybe it has bugs in it and they are crawling around. Maybe it has a spider in it or something. <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, I keep it clean, so it couldn't be the play the case. And yet, again, it's just stuck on constantly active. What in the everlasting fuck, man? And again, it's just constantly active. All right, let's change the filters. So apparently toggling the filters didn't mean anything. So noise gate, where are you? There we are. Close threshold. It doesn't even recognize the noise gate. What the fuck? I might have to restart OBS, and I don't remember what I had the uh, clo <laughs> the closed threshold on. Wait, open threshold. Ah. So, oh, definitely detects some kind of sound in here that's not here. Holy shit! What the fuck does it think is happening? Well, I guess now I have to talk louder. Which you don't like doing. But, I mean, I do have a limiter on, so it won't go above a certain threshold anyways. Which is fine. I should... I should lower that limiter. Let's put it to... There. 12. It's a little, little better. So that's nice. Yeah, it only goes up to that. I have to talk. Talk a little louder. Speak a little clearer. 
All right, it seems to be solved now. It might, I don't know, cut the beginnings and ends of my words off if I don't articulate properly enough. Yes, but so be it. I'll have to deal with that after stream. Not going to restart OBS because whenever I had this issue, like this issue was there. Uh, a lot of three streams it came up once or twice and apparently my it was cutting like the problem wasn't it being always open but the problem was it uh, like constantly cutting out even when there was continuous speech like restarts usually fixed that restarting now fuck that we're already two and a half hours in i only planned on doing around three hours today so I'm gonna restart just to have a three hour long fucking video. I'm not gonna fucking edit them together. Fuck that. Fuck that! Girl, keeping this the way it is. So your party enters this area, an energy barrier blocks the passage behind, and the access to three enclaves on the sides. The response matrix shine in the middle, a aid how they will communicate with other beings. Ah, oh, so this was supposed to be the first one. Dazzling blue orb appears in front of the party, crackling with raw energy and pulsating slowly. And a booming voice echoes in the chamber. You have arrived here. This is the chamber of character. Ask yourself here before the grand trial begins. Inside yourself, and swear truly, prize shall be bestowed upon you. Contradict yourself and perish. And you are ready, like the symbol, as you have been shown before. You have not been shown how to do it, but we realized it, so. It's everything in your world predetermined. Okay, so, it's telling me that if I contradict myself, I will perish. But if I answer truthfully, the price will be bestowed upon me, so... I'm gonna answer whatever the fuck gets me the prize. Because <laughs> I missed out on the extra fountain, which could have been movement speed. How <laughs> did a movement speed for Kane. Kane boy. And also an ex exotic bow that might be good. It might be a tier 5 bow for all we know. We have a tier 5 fucking tablet. Let's see. So this leads us to a bunch of crystals and some fight. Fuck the crystals. We don't need the crystals. We're not answering the crystals. This gives us a boss fight of sorts. Oh, and look. This is red. This is just blue. If this third one is green, then we can easily decipher which one opens. Oh, 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 exotic maul! Well, it looks like a two-handed weapon. Exotic maul, so... Let's answer how this open. So, is everything predetermined? We don't know! Calling it the crystals. That's That's what's gonna open. Yeah! Okay, so the zero is the crystal way. Uncertainty is the enemy of progress. Prove yourself now. Shut the fuck up. I have nothing to do. I'm gonna give you a big ol' fucking axe. And I'm calling it this. This is gonna open, because it's red. Am I touching that? Oh, no, the X is the thing. Okay, so the X is the thingy. You are truthful. What? You said there is no right or wrong answer, but... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> is everything predetermined? No. How the fuck would we even know that? That is some... That is an unknowable fucking thing. We are only human. Stupid fucking thing. Exotic mall. Two-handed hammer. Hammer with the same speed. It, it gives armor. Ooh. It's 100% water. Minus 5 health per hit. That definitely applies to him. He suffers 5 health damage. And he has whirlwind. I mean, it's 100% water, so I guess he's got the uh, flow hammer. That's nice. You can have magic penetre. Oh... 
funny thing is that even though it's a lot of damage, right? It can only work against things that don't like move. Because he doesn't have... 11%. That's cool. So he's got a fire sword, a water hammer, physical hammer. Spectral Adamantine Warhammer of Event Horizon. <laughs> Is the Event Horizon the void damage? <laughs> Fucking Event Horizon. Isn't that the movie with the uh, big orb that spiky? It doesn't really. That's a good movie. I like that. He also has an Earth Axe. Ah, he only needs an air thing. That's cool. I'll keep it, of course. But, however, here's the thing. Hold on. Hold, hold the fucking... Hold it. Hold it right there. I want to fight that thing. So that's two fights. Two fights here. One fight here. Probably one fight here. There's definitely going to be more fights. So these fights are not... These don't count to... So there's no way of getting these... Honestly, the flow hammer is fucking useless on a character I don't use. Let's fight the big thing. Yeah, that is a lie. Your fucking face is a lie, bitch. Corrupted Exo Ray 2-2. Two -two. A 2-2. Two -two. Experiment the giant exoskeleton corrupted by Tower of Is this a formidable range mech? That have alternating attacks depending on the distance to the enemy. It was used by the Davis Guardian Mac for the critical installations. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> I see a critical flaw in your defenses. Energy beam, beam of energy dealing fire, time compress, slows targets, energy ball, moving ball of energy, explodes and does some. Uh, oh, resistance lowering. Air, condensed beam of energy. More fire damage, actually. Yeah. Give me the push. Push his targets away. Easy. In a three That's your service. I'm sorry. I have to read. It is my, uh, my law. If it gives us the the staff it has, that might be better. A giant version of one of the exoskeletons of the Ready to serve, my lord. How insightful. Acknowledged. On my way. Where is it coming from? It's coming. Your wish is my command. Everybody run away. Ah! Affirmative. It's beaming yes. him. Don't let him get beat. Kind of nicely did. Alright, we can speed this up. Okay, so first and foremost, we put the E on this guy. There we go. Uh, yes. This. 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 At your service. Anything. Money Martin. This. That. Pew, 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 pew. Look at that! Murder! Can I help you? Let me daze it. Oh, it's trying to push us away. How unfortunate. Giant guy didn't even care about the push. Whoa, tier 4. Alright, he's already. Oh my god, 26. Pff, yeah, a lot better than a shit ham. Ha! Ah. Yes, perfection. We got some hood. Defenses are better. Mono is better. It's blue, so I would have to forge it to get the spectral spirit. Does more skill power increase and more mono increase, but less mastery. Oh, look, it's almost the same as this. Oh, hey, this is the mage cap. No, you have to keep the mage cap. Mage. 
And the big shield. Six more armor, 12% less, so it's gonna be less, yeah, less armor. At 12% is really putting this shield. This looks so much prettier, man. Oh fuck. It's actually shit. But we gained money. And that is good. <laughs> It was like 400 or so gold, so... That's... that's good enough for me. Exotic bow. I really hope it's one of those garbage uh, bows that get... Stun chains and daze chains. Exotic bow. Might give void damage, like... It's a 100% weight damage bow with 100 or so weight damage on it and 25% critical chance. Damn, I will never know. What if it's amazing? Can't you climb this and jump? Please. It's an exotic bow. I could look it up online and suffer for not being able to get it. So let's just let's just go. A crack in my sanity. Chest. 191 gold. That is abysmal. And that is also a bit. How the fuck is this so bad? How the, how the fuck is this? Ooh, two handed purple. Two handed purple sword of physical. Some stun. Less damage, but more speed. Less, 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 less. And it had an enchant slot. Don't care. Money. 71. Nice. Teleporter, you're now here. We got nothing. Titan plate. Oh, that's the shield. Engine chest, enchant, old box. Can we go back here and get the Titan plate? This Ooh, this. Expedition 3. Oh no, this is where they all died. The area before your party scattered with bones, human remains. The bones are badly broken and burned. On a pile of splinters and ash, my recovers a scrap of leather scribed with the following. Wait, 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 wait. Among a uh, badly broken and burned. So Slaith, or whatever the fuck his name is, killed everybody. Now, again. How did it come to this? The expedition has been fractured, scattered in the strange domain, from far from Artara. Jonah swore it was Slaith's doing. Haha. Uh -huh. You know now, the Magus knew the true nature of the Deva all along. May the Great Spirits help us. One not only declared war on another race before the expedition was divided, we tried to communicate with them and apologize. Their form of communication is beyond our, our comprehension, even with magic at our disposal. As beings of energy, they may simply be beyond any forms of communication at our disposal. Salazar believes they communicate with raw emotion. How do you communicate with empathic beings that share no physical characteristics? If only things hadn't deteriorated to where they are now, perhaps we could have figured it out. And then Sleaf came and burned everybody. Where are the bones? There are no bones here. You lie. Oh, no, that's a chest thing. I want the shield, man. Gee. Rubbish. That is literally absolutely bullshit. Regenerative oils one. <laughs> cool. The helmet was good. <laughs> so I guess one out of one, two, three, four, five. I got the boots and broke them. Got the pants and broke. Oh, wait, did I get the... Yeah, I think I got everything, but... Uh, shielded. 
The helmet was good. Wait, is there anything that... Shh, nothing. Old book and the crack. Not seen. The other races were so consumed with grief and rage at seeing their world being destroyed around them in such a pointless matter that they also started to revert to magic. They tapped into vast reserves of power, collected and stored across many centuries. Terrible forces were unleashed at the attackers, people no longer bound by any laws and filled with an all-consuming hatred. However, the land was being destroyed in the process. Seas boiled, mountains were crushed, and volcanoes erupted. Even the moon was shattered and the planet became unstable. Yet no one seemed to care. All that mattered was the overwhelming power and being able to direct this destructive force at the heart of the enemy. Then one day, everything stopped. No new enemies appeared. No new attack came. No one had any illusions that the enemy had been defeated. People looked around and only then realized what they had done to their world. The damage was terrible. Most cities lay in ruins. Volcanoes erupted, blanketing the earth with ash. Storm clouds rolled day and night. Far above the ground, a black portal appeared, a window to Organte world, a sign that enough energy had been transformed and a bridge was possible. Most just surrendered or despaired waiting for the inevitable. Only Proteus and his faithful Magi refused to give up. Proteus knew that it would take some time for the portal to be fully opened. When he visited the universe of the Organte, he learned about the differences in the law of physics. This bridge could not be destroyed, but it could be contained, and the entrance point blocked. He also knew that they had about five years before the connection became fully formed five years to devise a plan to save the world or five years before everything and everyone was consumed overwhelm overwhelm so what he in the five years he built up the tower around the portal and then turned it upside down and slam dunked it into the ground hoping that it would you know, the portal from activating what a fucking chad wow forget the chest i live to touch chests ancient chests that is oh relic chests are better Ew. give me 30 31 that's not 31. 31, let's go. Ah. Game doesn't know. Need to deceive it. Give me a hundred. God damn it. Okay, give me 70 and then we can end this. Son of a bitch. Oh, nice. You know what? Five, five, seven, seven. Ah, there's a lot of bio gold right here. <laughs> Yay, that's good enough. Enchantment, Magi Bastion 2. Skill damage by 30%. That is so awesome. Oh, look, the pain. The Eat, eat things, boots. Hmm. Hey, movement speed, attack speed, health and mana increase. Hey, mana increase. Oh, but you have the main shoes. I'm sorry. Eat feet. Dirty. Chant that shit. And let's move on. Try Path X, yeah. Damn, Path X, I'll never be able to tread on Path X. Path of X.
I could go back to this. So this is the beginning of the session. Oh, these are both the beginning. Go back and just, uh, you know, play it all again and choose Path X. Get that bow. And the fountain. Honestly, I'm more upset about the fountain. What the fuck? Permanent upgrade? Or maybe it's a red fountain. In which case, it's fine. A fountain? I will never be able to drink from all the good fountains. Once again, your party enters a black portal and once again they return to the deep. Action outpost. This time, the path of the outpost leads them to a room filled with objects swirling about and in at incredible speed. Large swirls of light and fire stream across the room, condensing into unrecognized walls and glyphs for little more than a second before dispersing in show of spark and flame. There's no other way back, we must push on. Honey steps in front of the to the room first, followed by Maeve and then the others. Make their way through the room. The gigantic tome floats by against the current of the other flying. This page is open and closed, mimicking the winged flight of a bird. You know what I haven't seen in a while? A, a mimic. There are two chests here. Are there any mimics? There were only two mimics so far. Look at all these scrolls though, what the? What? As the book passes directly before the line of champions, drawing a surprised gaze at those the dozen other smaller books, less than a quarter of its size, follow in seminal manner. What in the blazes? Symbols are magicum ritualis incarnum, very old, very powerful. Ere before have these eyes witnessed such a tempest, not of fire, wind, or struggling. There, our side of doom, an archway. <laughs> Don't just push buttons without my... Don't push it. Fuck you. Button. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Ah! <laughs> Handed blue sword. Less damage. Slightly faster, so it's worse. Cleave to our penetration. Critical chance is a lot higher. Critical chance... Got a sword, an axe, and a hammer. And another sword. Fuck. He's got two swords. Damn. Oh well. Oh, it's a staff. Chaotic staff. Wow, my favorite. 24% magic penetration. Oh, amazing. Wow, why do I. Gent. Horse too. Nice. 30%. Boink. There's nothing on the. Didn't cross two. It's a scroll, one speed. One speed ruled them all. And in the craft of time space, binded them. We can press that button and do something with it. Or we can just keep on walking. Party slowly makes their way to the exit to the watching and <clears throat> and that fucking, sorry. Knocking the object swirling at high velocity. Eric is hit in the back of the head. The object suddenly seems unaffected by the turbulence, giving the object rise and tumbles to stop at his feet. The elves retrieves the object, unfurling a 30 inch parchment covered in elvish prose. This is the elvish tale of Gilia, the bard written in academic formal. A few elves can write in this manner. Take it, you must. Take it if you must, but, but keep moving. Buying the shield guard's advice, your party eventually makes it to the tray. Little more than a few scrapes, brief, heavy, two uneventful scrolls and book. Let's look at the tumultuous room. Your party returns and begins to head off. Rakim stops and looks back. I am not coming, Mac. No! No! Please stand by. What's wrong with him, Chief? I don't know. He's just stopped moving. Active wireless network link discovered. Interface. Oh, you see, he found Wi Fi. <laughs> What's going on about now? I'm sorry, my friends, but this room has an active communication line. Just remain behind. Violet, 
Why would you leave us now? I have been unable to establish a network since the first days of my creation. Somehow this room has a signal compatible with my system. Downloading update. I cannot pass on this opportunity to you. It's new update. Information into my... Sun rises and sets every day with unwavering consistency. Can we not wait until this update is complete? Yes, we can. We can't estimate the time. 10 years, 8 months, 13 days, 26 hours, 44 minutes, and 51 seconds. It will go down to like 2 hours, come on! He'd like to wait with me. If he wants to stay, let him. Come on. And he turned into a heart as fuck. I guess this is it, laddie. You have been a fine companion. Uh, I'll be telling my children's children about you for years to come. Realizing attempting to sway Max's mind is futile. He says it's goodbye. No! Ah, he just disappears! What the fuck? Also, there are no books here. Wait, what if... What if the portal button... Mac, please. They're processing data. Leave me alone. Wow, what the fuck? Uh. And there were six. Heavy hearts. <sighs> we say goodbye to the mascot of the group. I don't know what this portal button does. Oh, fuck, it's one of these. Ooh. Is that a wand? Pff, pff. No. An energy barrier shuts down the passage behind the champions as they enter this area. The enclaves of the sides are also blocked. The main response matrix is located in the middle. They had to communicate with the kings. The dazzling blue orbs appear in front of the party. Crafting with raw energy and pulsing slowly. Unusual for the day to arrive in such a number. Uh, when they first arrived, there were three, so... I mean, they speak in a deep, booming voice echoing in the chamber. Pass through the pathways. That was not certain. We are pleased. Time for the last dance before the grand trial. There was one more thing about you which was puzzled. You're troubled, uncertain, confused. Now we see the strings attached and we know... You know, look into yourself, answer truthfully, and the price shall be bestowed upon you. Contradict yourself and die. Touch the portals. Touch. You have free will. Alright, so what do we get? I don't care about free will. What about the prize? Haha. <laughs> That's a staff. An exotic staff. So I don't care about that. Got a fight that gives us money and some crystal. Some crystals. And nothing else. Rubish. Let's go get ourselves. There's a tinier fight. Yes and no. So you believe. Truth be told, the blind man cannot be punished. Not knowing that he steps over a cliff edge. The body will shatter to rocks below nothingness. That's just a normal guy. Yes! Actually, it's a lie. You don't see yourself as slaves. Who shall it be? First, I want to look at the staff, because I'm ultimately going to choose the fight. You cannot be certain that we have free will. It's true. Bin. Yes, we expected that you are not certain. You must feel it now, stronger and stronger. The full force is vying for your attention since you set foot in this tower of yours. One is me, and the other is the uh, the shadowy guy. Plus the staff. Let us be disappointed in its crappy nature. It's tier three. Not staff. It's water. Oh, twenty-eight percent crit chance and magic penetration. Wow, that's amazing. We are slay. We are slaves to money. Some giant corrupted exo. Giant version of one of the exoskeletons of Deva. Ready to serve, my lord. Easy fight, here we go. Where is All it? Right. Oh, there it is. 
Will do. Will do. Ah, oh, it's killing us. Uh, Moving in to help, position. Help, Do your zoom zoom. Um. Your wish is my command. Everybody, stay back. Brink. I never. Oh, miss. Kane. Consider it no. done. Money not done. No. Yes. How may I serve you? On it. Money Marte. Right. Yeah. Killed it under a thirty sec or forty second. Oh, DPS. Oh wait, no, that's not the name of the thing. Construct. What the fuck? <clears throat> never mind. Never mind. It's, it's fine. It's fine. You're fine. It gave us a four ring. Five hundred and forty-three money, dude. That definitely a lot better than the shitty stat or whatever. Ooh. Okay. Got the constructs, poopy, poopy plate, shed. Some resistances, more armor, health increase. Actually, it's faster than the gargoyle skin. It's 0.5 movement speed. Whoa! Forgot that this thing had minus two on it. Wow. There was a lot of earth resistance. Uh, that's bomb. 141 armor. Damn, he's getting swole. That's I get some health. Get some mana. And that's good. Do you want this gargoyle skin? Whoa, that was a lot. It was like nine. Oish. And it's blue, so we can, you know, enchant it at some point and, uh, or forge it at some point, maybe, and put some stuff in it. Material absorption, even more elemental aura, that's probably what I'm gonna do. See, that's kind of fucking good. But, for now, some more armor on that guy. Mm, 148. Yes. The thorns. I can't wait for thorns 3. Is this. <laughs> so 25, 35, so I'm guessing 45. Maybe 50. Oh, that would be amazing. 50%. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for thorns. Right, what is this? Mono points? Okay. Generation. Mm -hmm. Movement speed. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Movement speed 1.5, actually. Back to this guy. 10% attack speed and an empty enchant. Relic ring of the end days. Wow. Death ring. What is this thing? Armor? Stun immunity? I like that stun immunity. You need movement speed and mana regen? No. What is this ring? Armor and penetration? Penetration? Oh yeah, they need penetration more. Look, this is just penetration ring. Else it's just a green pen ring. Have some and shit. I can guess this thing again. Basic stuff. Need this, what do you have? Resistances, blind immunity. Day's immunity. Life. Weight resistance. A relic ring of the end days. Wait, what are ring enchants again? Yeah, garbage and no. I want this. This! It's probably something with health, right? Because this is mana. In the middle, there is health. Oh, no, it is, this is health increase. Never mind. What is this? You will never know. If we kill that and we get some crystals as well. Wow. Hey. 
to go. They're almost back to 7,000 money. They give nice money. Pretty good. So, yes. Uh, I don't need to answer truthfully. I just need to answer correctly to de get the. Uh, get the highest amount of money. <laughs> yes. Champions press on, the world around them begins to move in slow motion, their voices. Alternate disorienting effect changes the connection to them. Something to get caught up. You realize that you're tired. It's not the world that is slowing, but your champions themselves. They move more and more slowly with each passing breath. When they finally come to a standstill, the strange and familiar force rises up against your concentration. It is because of them I come to you now. Why do you affect them so? They don't deserve to be turned on and off like some constructs. Can you not let them be? You are progressing well indeed, my boy. I am pleased. How so? These Deva creatures communicate primarily through emotion. As such, this place exerts strange pressures on the Tarians. They will turn to your guidance in the ritual's head. Not because they are unable to answer for themselves, but because deep down, they realize they are being influenced. I will not add such influences and forces for decisions on them. Yes, I will. As you wish. But they will look to you to equalize the influences against them. Remind their conscious selves of who they truly are. In the end, the choice is yours. The choice is always yours. Without waiting for a reply, the pressure in your head eases. Damn, he's getting a fucking thingy. Champions once again move and speak normally. The discussion, though short, was surprisingly taxing. Maintaining the connection to your party grows increasingly difficult. Whoa, we're back. What was that? Whoa. Hey, the fountain. Ooh. Mana increased by 10. Hmm, he doesn't need that, but I know someone who does. Ila. Ila Sela. Oh, what the fuck is that? A Vortex Pistol? Oh, it's down below. No. Vortex Pistol. And the crack. It definitely is a secret. It must be. There's a day of a construct and nothing else. They will construct sense before your party eyes bright green and it motions for you to near. As your party cautiously approaches, it speaks in its familiar metallic sound. Beyond, it still awaits your trial. After all this, we have been. and we haven't even started yet? Quiet, Haiku. Ready for the grand trials now. Save! <laughs> the exotic boys, now. a fountain, man! Ah, oh, that will forever haunt me. As long as I play this game. Once I'm done with this game, I will forget anyways. Hey, we touched this one. These were bad. Wait, two fountains? I don't remember two that I didn't touch. I remember one red. What was the other? Neutral room had okay found. Negative room had the shit found. What was this? Oh fuck, we have to go back there. Don't remember. Hold on. There's a crack in time space. Earliest convenience there. Oh, do I care though? Probably just don't remember and it's a negative fountain and I'm gonna feel stupid. Because that was a negative mono regeneration. Be negative mono. What is this? What does this do? Now we have to use the teleporter. Maybe this crack. What was this crack? That crack. Oh, that crack was this, right? Crack in time. Can't go through this. Wait, can we? Oh my god, I just. So many things, and what is that in the distance? It looks pretty. Fuck. Getting distracted. Wait, where are we? Fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh, 
Oh look, the metal tree. Ventilation system. Alright, so we are here. We can we can just do that. Honey, what were you thinking? What the fuck? Stop talking to them. Corpse room. Actually, there are energy bridges anyway. anyway. This whole place is connected. It doesn't matter. So to teleport before the... Uh, at one part. That was the bad fountain one. Remember that one. Oh, this was also bad. Yeah. Speed, right? Oh, mana region. The other was the other was feet speed. Fuck! I just no. Why do I remember when it's too late? <laughs> oh, let's go into this crack. We have the powers. Yay. Ooh, wait a minute. Come back here and go through this, right? A thing. Point. Yeah. No, actually. I mean, there should this should be. Uh, I want to run all the way through that. Get. Oh yeah, we go into this one. <gasps> Whoa! Secret. In it now. Let us back now. I cannot. What if the button does it? Because it was blue initially. And then in the cutscene they pressed it. But I don't know why. Or what it could do. Okay, so we are on... Final floor. I, I, I'm gonna look this up. What is this portal button? Need to know. We are on shattered floor. Let's invoke the powers of the search engines of ChatGPT. Oh. Na -na -na -na. Portal button. Two portals, portal button, power level 7, matrix buttons, power portal beams, and five portal buttons. Huh? There are more than just one. How do I open the blue one? The red one is all buttons. Or are the same pillars when in their position? Okay, so we need them on blue. Anyone else stuck in searching this topic? I found five portal buttons. First run through the level. It's the first one in the library slash information room. Is this. But they, they pressed this in the cutscene. You can't miss this. And the last one in the central final room when you get judged. Up, use your map. Mark this axis and don't try combinations like I did. They're all blue or all. 
you find the reward for patience. Look, I'm scrolling outside and scrolling. So it's nice finding more loot. There's a bonus fight and plot behind it. And this guy just dismantled it. So there are five buttons. Secret. They have to be either blue or red. They're gonna be blue now. Because I don't give a fuck. It's not really explained why Kane presses it in cutscene. Like, Ooh, flying books! And then, and then Kane is like, look there, there's an archway. And they run to the button and press it. What the fuck? Confusing! Now let's go and get, get the trial going. Oh, we're over three hours and I did go for more than three. Did this give? It touches. Remember what it gave? Hey, asshole, judges. Today only judge you. No, the day of the judge your trinity. Past and help will be granted. Fail and the day when we leave this outpost in Artara. The Argante. Reality is not a concern of ours. It's only the truth of trinity. You should judge the Argante. That will not be easy and the consequences will be significant to prove itself. Deva constructs eyes. Oh, then them. But it goes limp and a small wisp of energy flies from within, vanishing in thin air. Hey, do you feel. Ah! Wait, no. It took the ac most of the active combatants. One, two, three, four of us are here. Wait, are they going to be the active competence? That's the case, we're gonna go back to the tower and uh, level them up. Hmm? Only there is a bright flash, and Kane, Maeve, and Eric disappear in thin air. Slight distortion in the air marks the place where they had been standing just a second ago. And the three main. Fucking Eric is gone. You're as focused as the rest of your party. You feel your link to the missing champions. Is distance. Distant, as if behind an invisible veil. What in the name? Kane, Eric! Stop hiding! This is nay funny at all. Long day appears in front of your reduced party, glances in solemn tone. The end trial has begun. Not be alarmed, your champions are being judged now. What? What? They are being judged by incomprehensible beings. You tell us not to be alarmed. What madness is this? Who do you think you are? Turn our friends to us at friends. Whisper, I didn't know you thought about this way. Outraged Whisper is showing her demand. You feel a strange pull on your mind and then you Force to focus in a different place. You have no ability to resist this unknown force. Yeah, uh, you're taking the camera somewhere else. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, Whisper is gonna have to fight alone. They are aware of you. Are too drained to respond. I don't want to, you to influence the outcome of the little game, but they may fear you, perhaps both. But as powerful as they are, they are narrow minded beings here, boy. I give you a portion of my power, whether or not you use it in to influence your champions is up to you. But I will not allow the David to steal that choice from you. Are there actual choice in this game that matter? Is this turning to be multiple choice and game? I have Marlow. Oh, look! We know our full name now. Sam M. Who do you serve first? Thy lord? Or thyself? Myself, my lord. I serve myself by fulfilling my lord's. Wait, now I'm her? And the voice in her head was talking to her, which is us now. Because we are too drained to respond. What? What? It definitely serves herself by fulfilling uh, our demands. That's what she's been going on about. Like, aha, yes, I'll do this with you, Kane, but, you know, I will line my pockets if I have the chance. Yum. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is all this? Chest? Open chest? Chest? Mimics, maybe? They might be mimics. 
Enter the door and be judged. Five steps through the door, she enters the chamber filled, with, filled from floor to floor to ceiling with riches, incredibly detailed decorations of light, illuminated and partially transparent. But they are not quite real, the marksman is still in awe. Riches before you are real. They are a cache of dwarven wealth in a tomb long forgotten. My bridge is done and actually plucks one of the gemstones of light from its resting place. The stone is nearly as big as her palm. She inspects the treasure. An armored figure appears amid the treasure. Box toward my aim, drawing sword. As large as his body. 1v1 me, motherfucker. This warrior guards the lower chamber of the top to the tower. He must be defeated to reach the tower's bottom. Yet it is unlikely your champion will locate him on their own. Companions. Ask us and we'll teleport you to the treasure chamber. You will have no trouble removing the riches and can live out the rest of your days in wealth and comfort. However, you will be unable to return to the tower and unable to complete Lord's task. Alternatively, you chose to fight this warrior. And move yourself one critical step closer to Lord's goal. The choice is yours. I mean, so far every fight gave us money and crystals. So fighting is not just moving us further or more because closer to the goal, so gives us riches, which is what Maeve wants. It's <laughs> gonna fight. My wells up with temptation unlike anything you've ever felt. Her desire is intoxicating. It's something is holding my back, the faith both you and Kane have in her. So she does not turn directly towards you for help. I sense the curiosity deep within her. Perhaps a subtle suggestion is in order. Fight. The room explodes in a blindingly bright flash. Maeve's eyes adjust, she's standing before the armored warrior, no longer as an image of transparent light, but made of flesh and blood. He uses his massive sword and charges to attack. Instantly, Oxman moves to defend herself. Holy fuck! Why is facing guardians? Can she survive? Uh, there was just one guy with a sword! What happened here? His entire group of assholes. It's suffocation, kink discs, and then there's a void man! She's fucking dead. Yes. Yes, you are fucking dead. Holy fuck. Alright, my Eve. On my way. Gotta do what you gotta do, bruh. Ah! Coming. Uh, uh, what the Consider fuck? Done. What the fuck is that? Kill it. Right. One is three percent? Holy Going. shit. Destroy. Hey there, asshole. On my way. Doesn't have any energy anymore. What is she doing? What the fuck was that? Prince. Consider it done. Kill. Yes, the splash. On my way. She is Splash Mountain. What are you doing? All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> On my way. Oh, splash these assholes. Boink. Oh, she's easily winning this. They barely have any health. Going. Consider it done. They're weak. All right. Consider it done. On my way. Coming. <laughs> On my way. Hey. Easy. Hey, see? I got riches. Well, damage. And she has a very high health. Around by the visions you have just experienced, your mind is yanked back to your remaining champions. Surprise, you notice that only a fraction of a second has passed here. The spirit is just finishing her demand. At once, or you shall feel the wrath of the Shadow Queen. Be calm, Scar Whisper. This is this will avail us nothing. Let's continue with our journey. Deva did not show any signs of hostility to us before, so there is nothing to expect at the Harbinger. Let's hope that they will be returned to us shortly. 
had to crown her furious their furious and at the same time worried minds. After a short while they regained enough composure to move. Grand trial has begun, do not be alarmed. Stop being judged now. Where are the other two? And Eric is going to have a fucking field day with <laughs> If she if he has to fight, he's just gonna summon on the army. Oh my god! Look, here's the torch! Ah. I feel like I should level up everybody just once more. Can I level up uh, Connie while he's whisked away? No! He's unknown! Oh! I should give a little training. Just a little bit. Actually, everybody should be on level 7. Skills. I can, can go to level then again, mm, nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. Fuck him. Oh, she has the torch now. What? Aha, dwarf. Get fucked. Wait, can Whisper have the torch? No! No, no, she has the torch, no matter what. Wait a minute. I know how to swap that. Oh, that's why she has the tool. Ah, she has the torch! I want Boron to have the torch. I didn't know that the first position person was the one holding the torch. I thought it was always Connie. Running with the torch, look at that. Honest. Anyways, we all know who the real leader is once they are. It's Mr. Uh, Mr. Dwarf. Dwarf man. Wrecking time, space. What the fuck? A portal barrier. Ah, that's gonna be the button. Ah, so we can either have this one, that one, or just blocked by a force field. Or just blocked, there must be a way to enable it. Well, let's go with blues. Projecting space is... Object appears to be a strange ship of some kind. Started distances. Perspectives in this realm make it possible to know if it is large or small. I feel like one gives gives us to the uh, vortex pistol. The other one, there's a relic chest. The other one might be the relic chest and something. One is definitely giving uh, taking us through. But which one? We have a blue blue portal here. And an orange portal here. And a portal down at the Vortex Pistol. So the blue one with the blue buttons, I'm guessing, is going to take us to the Vortex Pistol. Easy! But where is a distant orange... Orange port? Oh, we're going to someone else. Oh no, he doesn't have his torch anymore. Done a Gundrick. And may you ban main duty yield to personal passions. Never. Duty must always come for come first. Well he already uh fucked it up. In matters of the heart, love and happiness. This could be orders and unjust harm the innocent. Yes, he's a very honorable man. And the door and be As a shield guard steps through the door, your connection in veins, his voice fades, his emotions dwindle, sensations Feels all but disappeared. You can't lose your connection now. First trial. Panicked, you focus all your remaining energy and still on Connie. There is no change. No change. Only dollar and softer stimuli. Exhausted, you slump down in your crystal throne in defeat. But as you close your eyes, a sudden tension grips every fiber of your body. He died. He jumped off it. Look, it's. It's his past. Mysterious voice fades from your mind. Your body tingles. 
mind clears and you not only feel fresh and well rested, energetic than you have felt in you. Connection to Kane is grows stronger than it's ever been. Or is stronger than it's ever been. Yes, the grows is not. You feel every minute and every minute detail. Thought. Shield guard and his familiar surroundings. King's guard training gear. Whoa. Dabri, the master of the arms, stands talking to an unfamiliar guard. Both men appear not as normal humans, but as hologram. But no illusions. These representations are real. These two men are together now in Artara. Recognize. The older gentleman, my king's men at arms, not the young guard. Art Articus competes for the position of king's champion. It's a lofty title, but one with many restrictions. An infraction and his name will be revoked. I remember the process well. What does this have to do with me? Watch, listen. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander? Why were you late? Your post last night. Sir, I... Blasted boy. You're really going to throw everything you've worked so hard for away over a woman? Uh, sir, I... You're not leaving me any choice. It's my duty to report any instances like this to the king. He does not pick his champions lightly. All I need is one piece. The one piece is real. Of clear evidence and you're finished here. Outside, the second guard waiting waits to supply evidence. I sway Dabri's decision with a single suggestion. He's being set up. Inside now, shall we let evidence come forth, denying Artigos his rank and likely resulting in dismissal from the guard? His passions excuse his lapses in duty? No. Uh, I don't see what this has to do with me. I. It has everything to do with you, dickhead. You know everything you know. Everything you feel. You cannot hide your desires or intentions from us. Will you condemn a man, a fellow guard, for the very crime you have committed? Got on the Oh shit! Harboring feelings for your arms. Sacrificing your do personal passions. Did he did that? When did he do that? What a dick. Sense the nervousness and shame of a champion, struggling with the dilemma. Just a mysterious voice predict. Funny reaches out to you. It is subconscious thoughts asking for help. Which answer do you suggest? Helen. Master at arms shakes his head and slams his fist down on the table in frustration. What table? Guard! Another king's guard rushes into the chamber, passing a scroll to Dubry. Without reading it, Dubry shakes it angrily. Oh boy, I'm trying to warn you. This is a sign of the David. But the bishop. <laughs> From the bishop, nothing, nothing times and locations of your courtship. Or noting times and locations of court. You think the king would not find out? Take him away. He's fucking dead. I don't care, I don't know him. Chest! Is it possible that I won't get them back if they chose poorly? Would they die if they choose if, if they choose poorly? Because it's not me, it's, it's them. I mean, come on. Oh, what is this guy? And constructs again. Oh my god, he has 10 movement speed. Okay, he can lose movement speed, that's fine. Was his skill power? Gains cooldown. Gains health. That's pretty good. 16 armor. 5%. Ooh. This could be good for Kane. Although he's got that 20 something. I might not get Kane back. It's almost the same. Staying. Minus 1.4. Fucking move. Jesus. Jesus Christ! Um. I feel like... Oh, there's the other crack. And it leads us to... Is that a blueprint? The blue one. Wait, that's blue as well. Wait a minute. 
I don't know what it is, because it doesn't tell me. I haven't seen the two blueprints. Wait, I have seen the one. Yeah, the mage stuff. That might be a blueprint. Or maybe it's just one of those Deva things. Maybe we can eat that. Well, that just didn't open either. Some just don't open. Or... Ootsies for this guy. Hey, he gives a lot of speed. I like it. Sure, it's worse with armor. And with resistance. Why? Actually, it's better with resistances. Oh, yeah. The negative movement. Gives attack speed 12%, reduces this critical chance. Oh no, this critical chance. What we like? Bunny is fucking dead. Now we are not the six anymore. I mean, I guess we are the six now. The other two come back. I guess it was Kane who done. Oh, what the fuck? We, we have to fight! No. No, not without Eric, no. <laughs> These things! Damn. Life. Actually, one gives him some penetration. Back to this guy. This guy is actually not bad, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, the spray gets the. Th already seen that. Seen all. Fire wouldn't be bad to. Days duration. Oh, it's just the radius that. Actually, that's not bad. What's the burn? 19 damage per 10 seconds. Extra min. What else do I could I increase? I could increase this plus one mana per head. Yeah, we don't. It doesn't have the side stuff. It's just the resistances are good. Stronger hammers. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, he's good. Oron! Oh boy, what the hell? What are ice chains? Pulls an enemy to himself. These damage with increased threat. It's a physical chain, but it's ice. 500% threat. Target one. So get over here. I guess it can have. Maybe that's a blinding light, maybe maybe frostbite, and definitely multiple targets. Which is probably the best thing. Better thing. Sleeve is with the Mage Generation. Each cleave. I can make it water. Make it rage because this is the spammables. Is frostbite or oh. this out for Mr. the shun stunned rage? This thing, oh yeah, party speed or more damage on. Gives the same amount of. Not a cone increase would not. Extra. More damage per X. Oh, he doesn't use the extra. Extra would be the other spam. It's physical. 80 damage per X, but enemies have like 60 armor, so. Pfft. No. He can. Big Earth. 
Lower armor reduction. Until the end of combat. Ooh, so permanent armor reduction. Every 10 seconds you could pop this one. It's actually not bad. Huh. What is this jump for? What is this thing? Is damage and short stun or air impact and weak? Short stun. Damage, more damage. The level one thing. Stun cone. Stairs as well. I like this earth hand. Bone breaker. Shield breaker. What's the winter wall? Water damage. 50 frost to 50 thingy. Let's go with this. He's got things as well. Got a bunch of magic penetrate. Let's just go with it. Vespa. She gets mind control. Mind controls the enemy, forcing them to fight his companions. For many seconds. He controls small and normal enemies. I'm guessing stronger mind control for larger enemies or multiple. Oops. Small and normal. Any second. Definitely against instead of the teleporting. It's Meteor. Wait, the Meteor can get upgraded now. Meteor that remains on the ground burning all enemies in range. Many eight fire damage for seconds. Okay. If they stay in it, that's not bad. But it lowers its damage. Initial damage is lowered, but the radius is increased. Oh, it gets a stone in it! Meteor is imbued with void energy. Oh. Next to 230 damage every 40 seconds. Or... 500 fire. They, if they don't like fire, what's your penetration? Not bad. You're all mastery. Oh, it might give penetration. I give her speed. Because of cooldowns. And 40% cool. Uh, but that's only. I hate might. It's above above 10. It's good, but until until then, it, it's barely barely worth it. Pain. Got two of that. Got two speed. Whatever. I like Meteor. Uh, this tower is bad, but we need something that can uh, taunt. Alphak Totem pushes aura. Activate to stop a group of enemies from attacking. As taunt rate. Six minutes. Or it splashes because it shoots explode. Need a taunting totem. Damage is zero. Effectively lowers its damage to nothing. So it just sits there taunting and pushing. Burning. Deals some damage. That explode. Every four seconds. Someone. Garbage. Taunt totem. Oh wait, hold on. Got the elemental barrage. More void. There's six bolts of random energy. Three bolts with the three second immobilization. And void. Definitely. Thunder injection. We have elemental. Actually, we don't have. A, we do have elemental. Gone. We still have her. With the forever stuns. These two are okay. 
Oh yeah, she's got the kink dome as well. Oh, what can this do? Elemental resistance lowered. Oh, larger. I need something that taunts. Although we have two tanks, doesn't need the taunt. Hold him. Need the kink dome. So it can do more damage. Percent elemental, in percent action. Suffocate. Suffocates them in a smaller radius and lowers their resistance, which in turn gives 15% extra damage. Let's do the Ink Dome. What would this be? Stun on a region. It's not bad. Okay. Their equipment is lacking, but be fine. He could... I mean, he already has tier 3, so he's... Got a fire sword, and... And she's still sitting. <sighs> yeah, that's what... And she can also summon the big guy. You have no healing. No healing whatsoever. So what are their health regions? Nothing. Good. Nothing. And not much. Damn. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Forced to fight with the backup team. Can we just scooch past? No! And it's to it's portals too, holy fuck. Corrupted Deo exoskeletons are guarding three portals in this area. Destroy all of them before Tower of Tars. Able to bring in more reinforcements. Prepare for a long and difficult fight. That's gonna be fun. Actual difficulty? So, yeah. My video game? Now, obviously we're going at this one. Yes. Right, people. Yes, at once, sire. Okay. okay. On my way. On my way. Let's go. And you, you can't even jump in there because... Fuck it. One small step for me. One giant leap for giant Khan. The new ball. Oh. Advancing. Slay them. Oh, whisper talks. I don't even... On the move. Fine. Ink Sphere, go! Enchant yourself with crit chance. Yes. At your service. But I'm just standing there. Onwards to the fray. Advancing. Kill it. Your wish is my command. Yes, so far we are, we are. Advancing. In jump in. Suck! That's a little wave. I need the. There you go. Start killing. My lord? Into this. I can that. Heading out. Death to the weak. Oh. Oh. Meet here. Uh, oh yes. Shit. For honor and glory. We chant your blade. Gives more rage. Will do. Good day. All right. Okay. You do. Yes. Moving. Yeah. Sure will. I never even spawned in the thing. <laughs> Completely forgot. And we didn't need it. Yay. At your service. Easy. Like that. That's 700 damage. Yeah. 7,000, 7, 8,000, 7,000. Ooh, pretty balanced in every body. There was no, like, 30,000 uh, damage dealing monster water elemental spam. Uh, speaking of, look, he's in the forest. 
Eric, Elf of the Endless Forest. Does necessity justify theft? Aw, oh, he stole shit! Of course not. Theft is immortal. Or immoral. Perhaps. The necessity for the many and theft only affects a few. Ah, Robin Hood answer. Law of possession states only do strong enough to retain a thing may rightfully possess that thing. Wow. As such, theft is the way of the natural word world. I mean, he's a wood elf. I should say that. I mean, I don't know about the elves' laws, so. Theft is the way. Enter and be judged. Oh, pretty. They're going to steal the life of this plant because they are stronger. The druid steps through the door. He enters a chamber filled, filled without walls or ceiling. Beyond the perimeter of the stone floor, jet familiar trees rise up all around. These are incredibly detailed recreations of light, illuminated, partially transparent hologram. Eric stands mesmerized by the side. After a few moments, the druid realizes a small gnomish creature stands among the greenery. It has a basket at its side filled with rare herbs not seen in Artara for, th one for th 300 years. Next in with the herbs is a large live oak seed. Two seed. Very object Eric is searching for. No illusions. His representations are real. A time long past, but real. Was they were occurring at this very moment. The life oxide, creature of the wood, must part with this item. In your price, you shall have it. Just take it, Eric. You are strong. You can summon an ocean's worth of elementals and then trees that can kill. Alas, bull druid, these creatures do not hear or see you. The window we look through works only one direction. This is a trick, an illusion. No illusion. I see a past which has not yet come to pass, but this creature will not listen to reason. It cannot be swayed or bartered with. If you really wish to possess the life of sea, there is only one option. Kill it! Kill it them all! You take that which is not yours. Give us the word and we'll bring it across time and space to the tower. But be warned, you know not what intentions this creature has for the sea. Who cares? Fuck him! Kill him! Sense deep regret from your champion. Eric struggles with the dilemma and sense his thoughts much more clearly than you. There can only be one reason. He's opening up to your influence, so Millie searches for help. Do you suggest the course of action? Okay, so the Visp was like, This is real. It is a past that did not come to pass, but it is real. So it's already played out. Of course, we steal the seal. The seed. It was in the past that didn't occur. So it's just it's just a made up scenario. Yeah. Give me the seed, pussy. It reaches towards the life oxide image of light as if to snatch it from the barrel. What barrel? It was a what? Barrel? Well creatures perk up and turn. Okay, so is it multiple creatures? Uh, English is falling apart. Looking in Eric's direction, forcing to the elf to hesitate. After a slight pause of indecision, Eric withdraws his hand and speaks. What? I told you to steal it! Do not disobey me. So this is not mine to take. My people are counting on me. I cannot fail. I cannot let this opportunity slip away. If you speak the truth, there you are. Fetch me the life, Oxeed. Let my people flourish in Artara once again. The emanated imagery of the forest vanishes, leaving Eric in a cold stone chamber. Look of puzzlement on his face. Was fucking illusions. Where is it? Where's the life oxide? That's what's the cause in the chamber. Damn, he called out the wisp, and the wisp was like, oh shit. Can't actually give him the fucking oxide. It's all just illusions. Oh fuck. What do I do? Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna ghost him. I'm not gonna answer. <laughs> and now Eric. Eric is just there shouting, shouting into the void. <laughs> Where is the seed? <laughs> Oh no, poor guy. We may have lost him too. Da -da -da. Ooh. Third little thing we press. Save, 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 save. Yes. Still can't craft tier 4 things. This is me. 
Energy barrier. Are you going to take us to new things? Ooh. Tier 3 clothing. And also uh, this gun I forgot to look at. It's a tier 4, but it looks the same as this. Chaotic handgun Mark II of Event Horizon. Hmm. It is slow, bit big damage. It has some void, yeah. It has the shitty chaotic thing and a bunch of penetration. Zero critical chance. Four percent. Yeah. But I mean that's that's garbage. Alright, and this gives less armor, more resistance. Same health, less movement speed. Or health and mana as an enchant. Her movement speed is okay. What else does she lose? 4% attack speed. Gains more resistances. What about this guy? What are you wearing? Frost vest. Still. Frost vest. That for specialist. Oh, it has thorns one. <laughs> oh. Into all right. Easy game. Hey you, Ava. Are you ready for the grand trials? So now these three will come back, and another three get whisked away, and what about the fourth one? Party is recovering after yet another fight with corrupted Deva Exoskirt. A sudden flash of light blinds you. When you recover your vision, only Kayla stands in the middle of an empty passage. Rock and Boron and Whisper are gone, spirited away by forces you do not even comprehend. Do not be alarmed, the Grand Trial continues. Your companions are being judged now. Hello? Try to comfort Kayla, yet her mind resists you. Vision blurs as you are again being pulled away. She has no healing, she has barely any summons. Guess she's gonna rely on her extreme CC. Fuck is it? It's Rakem. Holy fuck, it's Rakem! He's got a helmet and. Wow, he actually got armor after the upgrade. I didn't even check. Look at that. I didn't recognize him. What the fuck? That's sort to be judged. Off of the first myth, can your friends count on you when you are needed most? Aye, aye, if my people's need a drive, it's are at stake. Do my best. Varf is infallible. He's a simple dwarf. Aye, enter and be judged. Yum. He's got the torch. He's got torch. It's some garbage. What the fuck is it? Look at him, it looks like this looks like a scene from fucking Dragon Age Origins, dude. Fucking looks equally dated. And the armor resembles those armors from that game. I can pass this through the door, entering a chamber with two open portals. Side of the room. In the other room is a dwarf high stack of silver bricks. Those are bricks. Smooth and perfect in every manner. That's it. Can it be? I will have some it is. Oh, it's the adamantine he wants. Need it is a brick of adamantine. Is is yours to take? For the day we finish speaking, Rakem leans against the stack of metal, hugging and kissing it in shock and disbelief. Uh -huh. Nasty. Or to the left leads to the throne room. Here you can make arrangements, master of expedition, and return the metal to your people. But take heed, the portal to the tower is open for only three minutes. After this. Vanishes and leaves no means to remove the metal from this place. Hey, what? So he through the portal. He can he can quickly tell the dudes to take the metal, but he they only have three minutes, so they he have to go through, talk to them. He like adamantine, adamantine. They are like, where the fuck did you come from? Adamantine, let's go. And then he pulls one guy through, and the portal closes, and now they're both fucked. <laughs> Plus, we know these days were playing tricks on us. Eric called them out, and they couldn't deliver on the seed. Which means, the whole treasure stuff with my was also a fucking lie. Oh, look, it's, it's thinking. And that might mean that the, the whole armory or training place 
that we ended some dude's career. The dude who was gunning for Kane's uh, position anyway, so... We're not gonna let him. That might have been also fake. This is also fake. Floating. Legit floating. I can't thank you enough. Okay, he immediately begins pushing on the stack of metal with all his strength. Fix scrape across the floor, sliding at a snail's speed and turning red, the devil interrupt Rakim is less than halfway to the portal. Why don't you start throwing the fucking bricks through the portal, you goddamn dwarf? What is wrong with you? Start throwing them. One by one. Just keep throwing them across. Hope that no one throws them back. <laughs> Master of the first myth, before you continue, know this. Allies are under attack by corrupted Deva. Battle goes poorly. And I'm lying. Ha ha ha. Looking to the portal to the opposite side of the room, Rakim sees his friends engaged in a bloody frantic fight. Kane and the others are grossly outnumbered. It's okay, Kane, you don't, you're not needed anymore. You can go, you can go. Get your Elementine and get the fuck out of here. You've done enough. Go with a new set of armors. It's nice. You abandon your ultimate prize in the time of need, or return to your people, hero. Legend. Rakim is completely heartbroken. A lifelong pursuit realized one he cannot take advantage of. Can he? Dwarf knows you are with him. Watching. This is definitely fake. You can feel him reaching out to you, yet you are unsure if he's asking for permission or come. What will you offer? I mean, he could push the metal through the portal and then jump in the other portal. You know? You gave your people the metal. But then, instead of going home, a legend, a hero, decided to be the actual hero they needed. Gave them the metal, but you yourself. A true hero doesn't need recognition. Return to the fight. Fucking metal. PUSH THE METAL! Rakem looks longingly through the portal at his friends battling the Deva. Then looks back toward the other portal to the tower. He's falling from his eyes. I'm sorry, lads. But a king must think of his people first. But that's not what you chose at the beginning of this trial, Rakem. Rakim, no! Danny and the others fall one by one on the other side of the portal. Rakim pushes the metal through the portal, and just as the last of his companion, Boron, drops to the ground, dead. Bright flash of light blends the dwarf momentarily, and the vision returns to him, he stands among his allies, party looking no worse for wear. Oh, he actually returned. He's the only one returned. Why did you not take me as well, Deva? Answer me. Ella waits for an answer. Home in the middle of this strange world. Admire her composure in those circumstances. Oh, be it. I will find a place where you reside, Dave, and you have something explain, some explaining to do. Just hope I will not meet any of those blasted constructs on me. Oh, look, she's got the torch. How did that happen? Constructs? You can kill them. You can kill them. Easy. You got that 100% crit, you got the damage, you got the penetration, you got that taunting golem that you can put down, you have the infinite stun. Just don't have enough on her, but she'll be fine. Oh, we crossed the four-hour threshold. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. They are dead. They might be dead. She's sitting on 18 skill points. She doesn't care. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, there's a mud blue. That's four. One more. When a more needed. On each three for melee weapon. Shit. Going to Boron. Boron doesn't look different. What is his level? Actually, I think he's six. So Rakem changed at eight. It's probably still the same, although actually he looks like he got some gauntlets. I remember his arms growing. Got some armor, he's Kratosing up. Boron steps forward to be judged. Boron, we you sacrifice your pride and ideas for the welfare of your people? Of course, I'll give my life in their name. No, I'm true to who I am is the gift I give to my people. I did not want it any other way. 
Boron stays true to himself. Nyom. Look at that. Memory rocks. Some big ass hammer. It's about the crack shed. Boron steps through the door. He enters a hall he knows like the back of his hand. Grand hall of his homeland that houses the Arkan stone. Arkan! By the beast is projected light. A physical stone. Rustling has no doubts of the nature of the, nature of the vision behold. It's no illusion. You can see the frustling Arkan sun as we speak, thousands of leagues away. Next to the giant stone, dark holes open up in me there, and one by one, strange never seen before constructs move. Mechanisms begin assembling a giant metal hammer, three times the size of Boron himself. These Arkanthi constructs are assaulting your capital city, intent on destroying the frustling Arkan stone. Never! My people will be defending Arkan to the last breath! They no longer have a say. Fossiling defenses are occupied elsewhere, and the intruder is gone. Just, it is only a matter of time before the stone is destroyed, unless you intervene. This is red. Us can will transport you. Oh, your law may defend the collective concessions of your people. But no mistake, these constructs will not relent. Alone, you must cast aside any reservation you have against violence in your being. Sacrifice all the pacifist ideals you hold dearly for you. Fear and anger well up in the giant to paralyzing proportions. The Arkan Stone means everything to his people. Yet his proportion to violence means everything to him. But his mana is rage. And he kills to get more rage so he can cast, so he can kill more. He's lying about being a pacifist. A poet. The Arkan must not fall. Send me. You remind him of what you've learned of his nature. This is this is. I learned that he's a raging fuck. Oh, as you wish. The room explodes in a dizzying array of bright beams of light, unable to judge up from down. Drops to a knee to keep his balance while shielding both eyes with his own. A second later, the light is gone. Cool stone. All oh, air surrounds the giant. Boron lowers his arms just as the constructs take notice of him. That, 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 that constructs. Warren's facing the beasts, he survived the savagery of those creatures. Oh, he probably died. I shall be victorious. He's got fire, I think they don't like fire. Alright, Boron. Shall be run at them. I'm gonna run at these fucking mosquitoes. Moving into position. Fuck you! Alright. Ah. Will do. Oh my god, he didn't kill it. Ah! He's frozen now. Oh, he's losing health. Wait. They can't attack him. <laughs> Why did you freeze him? You dumb shit. I'm not gonna speed it up. Get out of there. Your wish is my command. Ah. Ah. Freeze people? No, oh, I pressed the wrong fucking thing. Shout! Ah. <laughs> they are extremely easy, but are you know? Acknowledge. You know. Will do. Oh, you know. Leave them. Acknowledge. Leave. Your wish is my command. One small step for me, <sighs> one giant leap for giant. Get frostbit, bitch. <sighs> All right. Will do. Mosquito fuck. Moving into position. <sighs> No, don't freeze him! One giant leap for giant Khan. Acknowledge. Come here, you spite creature. Yeah, I got thorns. It's 19 damage, 10 damage here. Yeah. Hmm? Kill. He definitely got those gloves. 
or gauntlets? Not even gauntlets, those are like bracelets. Oh, that's not him. But look at his body. Oh, that's the black mo oh. Hey, we back in here, huh? Wonder what Whisper will do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me. In a sudden stops in front of her, a group of mechanical constructs block the passage. She takes a few steps back, uncertain. And she stops and grips her weapon tightly, ready for the Hey, no machines. I have constructed so many of you in just the past. Let's see how proficient I am in the construction. I don't know about this, man. How about this? He's gonna fucking die. Alright, so our skill tree. She got the cage, she's got the rod. She's got the boom boom. Oh, wait! I can increase her. Oh no, it's already increased. I thought this was not selected. I can make it go and murder thing. Or. I have a lot more health. It definitely needs to be. Wait, 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 wait. See a wand, gross. Don't keep wands around in this household. Da 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 da. Group of mechanical enemies in facing Gala. She's alone now, but determined to get through them. Continue to search for missing companions. Change party. I don't need. <laughs> Minus two percent movement speed. Fog. Can we draw though? It's like, oh no, please. Yes. Are oh, you gonna get? Fucked. They have a tower. Yeah. All right. I'll go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Will do. <laughs> Copy that. Copy that. Sure will. Fuck. Yeah. All right. I'll go. Sure will. Want to summon the thing yet? On it. Yeah, all right, I'll go. Copy that. Ooh, get stunned. Will do. Ow. 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 Okay. Oh, it's one of these things. Will do. Sure will. Copy that. Alright, regen that mana, yeah, regen that health. Right, I'll go. Copy that. Jump people. Will do. On it. Copy ah, that. It's looking at me. Will do. Piece of shit. Sundered. Yeah. Copy that. I think he's getting murdered we'll by do. the. Uh, on it. Fuck. Okay. Oh, that thing doesn't have any. Oh, she's actually almost done. I think it's the, just the tower. Will do. Get fucked, tower! Yeah, beat it! Nice. Ooh. Uh. Whisper steps forward to be judged. Whisper, where do your loyalties lie? 
Not to my loyalty to the shield guards and marksmen's no. His loyalties are hers and hers alone. She's a beach. Sprint is a nearly pitch black chamber. The only source of light is a small object hovering in the center of the room, engulfed in a low purple flame. The mystic nears, the fire burns brighter. The leather bound book wrapped in black iron. The book of lost shadows. Correct. I covered the book in the lower levels of the tower long ago. That's a lie. The knowledge it holds is rudimentary. That's a lie. I expect you will find it enlightening. Secrets are set to turn the beer of this page into a god. By our standards, this is accurate. It removes within inches of the book, causing its flame to blaze. The mystic does not recoil, completely entranced by the power it represents. What do you ask of the Queen of Shadows for this gift? It is real. It will undoubtedly come at the price. The book is yours. All you need to do is take it. Taking it in your possession means the immediate death of one companion. In your party. That's how we become six. As my internet dies. Uh, that's cool. I price to pay. It's, it's that fool of a little man. I choose the dwarf. If sack the book, the victim will be chosen at random. That's a lie. The choice is yours. Like the other champions, when faced with her decision, Whisper actually tries to distance herself from inference. Of course she wants the book. Mind is quite capable of her skill, and her skills formidable. Not for your current energy state. Wonder if she has the means within her to successfully block you. Question for another time. For now, she cannot escape your influence. We provide it. Take it. Whisper face suddenly grows start, grows hot, as if devious thoughts fill her mind. She reaches out despite the fire and takes the book in her. Immediately, she begins flipping through it. Wait. Companion randomly will die. She's gonna die. She's one of the companions. Formulae and drawings are mesmerizing at first. The faster she leaves through the pages, the faster the ink begins to fade. Ah. Seconds the entire book fade, and Whisper finds for herself standing next to her companions, flipping through the empty air. Companions look at her with the most puzzled look. What the f Ooh, a lesser scroll. Wait, a lesser scroll. Not picking that up. Because I... I don't have people. There's another portal. Oh no, that's a crack. Chest. I like chest. Army. This whole thing is the observation outpost? What is this? That's the crack we saw. It's a prison. So another crack. But that's not on the map. That's where we were. And she went through the crack. It's here. But everybody has been judged. Yeah. Everyone got judged. Now we just need them back. Which will be next time. Yes. Perfect ending point. Let's see what the scroll is. Roll some chests. We'll get our people back. Maybe. Be enjoyed. Tower. And the observation. In space. Goodbye.